there's different parts of me. Obviously, young spray. Gaddafi is my Muslim name. Okay. You know, Gaddafi. So there's, yeah, there's Gaddafi. Inshallah. I got that name from my father. Okay. It's actually my real middle name. Okay. On my um, birth certificate. So your pops knew about Islam? He, I'm not sure if he knew about Islam, but he. He's, he put that in there? No, he ra he's met um, Gaddafi before. Okay. Mama. Okay. Gaddafi's Mama met him Gaddafi, before. Yeah. My dad was a um, politician. Mm. So he, he liked his way of politics. Politician here or politician? Politician in Dominica. Okay. So he liked Gaddafi's way of politics, I think. And he named he named me after after him. No way. So I was destined to be a maniac. <laughs> Bro, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah khair for coming through. Yeah, no, respect. I had to, man. No, I had to. You had to call up. Call up. No. I had to. You get me? I've got one I'm going to say to your mom. No. No, mashallah. Appreciate you coming down, bro. Yeah, no, thanks, man. Exactly. Your mom's got that number that he just calls like you come in. It's like, yes, I'm coming, actually. Big up hits as well. Shout out hits because hits gave me, hits told me, you know. So I was like, boy. He's a good brother. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a lot of love for you. Yeah, he yeah, spoke the same. And um, the way in, big up the way in Yusuf, brother Yusuf, he just came out of prison mm. um, a little while ago. I just done his episode on my podcast. Okay. Uh, not to watch that, bro. Yeah, he, 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 he's, 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 he's going to. Yeah, yeah, that was a big, is that? And you know, the way he speaks. So he's, 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 he's going to um, come on here. Yeah, exactly. Still, why? Mm. Yeah, but he's going to, he's going to, I spoke to him. Okay. He sends his salam. And... I watched a little clip just because I knew you was coming. So I, that came up mm. when I put up your name. That came up. That was the first one, and he was talking about in prison. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. They they proper stood up to the thing mm. in mm. jail still. So big him up and um free he, chaos as well. You mentioned chaos free chaos yeah. all day, and he did phone me today because I was well behaved on his episode because obviously. I don't know if you watch my show, I'm always <laughs> going mad. So we'll be yeah, I'm always going mad. I'm weighing everyone. No. Yusuf for me this morning says, yo, yo, you can't weigh the imam. <laughs> he <laughs> me. I was <laughs> like, bro, yeah, I was like, bro, like, it's not, I don't do it everywhere I go. <laughs> I was like, big up Yusuf, but I was like, bro, I don't do it everywhere I go. You no, get me? No. It's not even, because even with hits, we had a very nice conversation, mm -hmm. you know, like there's times and people don't realize um, there's different parts of me. Obviously, young spray. Gaddafi is my Muslim name. Okay. You know, Gaddafi. So there's, yeah, there's Gaddafi. Inshallah. I got that name from my father. Okay. It's actually my real middle name. Okay. On my um, birth certificate. So your pops knew about Islam? He, I'm not sure if he knew about Islam, but he... He's, put that in there? No, he ra he's met um, Gaddafi before. Okay. Mama. Okay. Gaddafi, he's met Mama him Gaddafi, before. Yeah, My dad was a um, politician. Mm. So he, he liked his way of politics. Politician here or politician? Politician in Dominica. Okay. So he liked Gaddafi's way of politics, I think. And okay. he named he named me after after him. No way. So I was destined to be a maniac. <laughs> no, what can I do? Uh, he named me Gaddafi. You know Gaddafi. Is... But did you know that name was in your name when you was young? Obviously, I did. My dad used to always call me Gaddafi. My mom used to call me Leon. My dad refused to call me Leon. He called me Gaddafi. 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 Mm. So and growing up, I used to be embarrassed of it. Mm. Not uh, let me take that back. Not growing up when I lived in Dominica because I was born in Dominica and I came here when I was seven. So. I didn't mind it over here, but over here, Gaddafi just seemed weird. Off, like it's yeah, like yeah. not the right name. So I was, I even took it like I stopped saying it in my middle name. I was mm. very embarrassed of it, mm. and it's so weird now that it's now it's the name I use, mm. and I'm proud of it. Mm. You know, I actually, that's my favorite name. That's crazy. So go back then. You was born in Dominique. Yeah, not the Republic. I uh, just to add. What is there a difference? Difference. Okay. Because every time we say Dominique, people. Straight away, they think of Dominican Republic, Republic. but no, with, there's another small island called Dominica in between Martinique and Guadeloupe, two French islands. I think it used to be a French island as well, as it goes. Mm. But yeah, now England run that. Okay. I think it's a commonwealth now. Okay. But okay. yeah. But an English speaking country? Yeah, and um, Patois, Creole. Okay. Like, which uh, is broken French. French, yeah. yeah. Mm. Sacafet, Toma. 
Okay. Dominique and she gave me yeah, you know how to rip you have to rip it still. Either. How was life over there? Um because you came at seven, so I'm assuming you have some form of understanding of Yeah. Yeah, I came, um, I know why free song, but I came just before I turned seven. And um I was I was very smart over there, mm. you know. Cause over there they put you in the year as far as according to how smart you are. Oh, yes, so it's not about African things. Yeah, it's not that. about your age. It's about how smart you are. So, for instance, when I arrived in England, I was used to um, I was used to going to school with nine year olds, ten year olds, like in my class. And then, so when I've arrived in England, they put me back to my own. So it was just like, what's this? I remember when I first went to school, primary school. I remember and they were teaching the kids how to like you know a. B, C, but it was like in dots. So you had to join the dots yeah, to try and, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're trying to the teach dots. them how to um, think, do join up. Mm. So like at the end of the O, the, the thing will be at the top of the O, mm. but at the end, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, I could already write, join up. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I could like fluent, like, so just little things. So then, mm. yeah. It was a bit, so, so you're saying over there was more advanced than here? Definitely. Mm. Well, I, I would say that. Mm. I can't. No, I can say that definitely. No, I can. I was about over to say, there was advanced. Yeah, I was about to say, God, it's me. I was actually advanced <laughs> then, but even still, no, the teaching was more yeah, advanced over yeah, yeah. there than here. Yeah, it's hands on as well. You get beaten. Like, mm, mm. Psh. Okay, okay. Yeah, you get beat quick in class. Remember what we discussed before: the if you don't pass the exam, you don't move forward. Mm -hmm. mm. So there, you're pushed to kind of like work harder, pass, move on, mm. and then as you say, hands on. You're memorizing the the, the maths. You're you know memorizing English, mm. so you're using your mind. Mm. So they excel sometimes a bit more. Mm. And the they beat you as well. The, the, the question does sometimes obviously arise. Obviously, there's going to be political questions, but why is it then that people think that the West is the place to come for studying? If Africa and like you said, Dominica is advanced in learning, why is it we see the West as the place to go for learning? Do you know the weird thing about that? I think as far as root grassroots level, it's more advanced. Mm -hmm. But when it get when you get to like university and all that level, they haven't really got enough of the mm -hmm. teachers, professors and all it's that to teach the proper yeah. stuff. So that's why they end up leaving the island to go, I don't know, America or mm -hmm. go elsewhere for proper Got you. Do you know what I mean? Got you. Mm -hmm. Plus sometimes you can excel but it's not appreciated. Mm -hmm. Like you can excel, but the salary they're going to give you compared to the salary they might give you here, it's a big difference. Mm -hmm. So they say, look, let me go there, study, finish my higher studies there and then get a job there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, I'll be you know, honoured and appreciated. Rather than if you stayed in your own country, basically. I'm not saying it's right, but sometimes that's... Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a level of inferior complex mm -hmm. where you think that over there has more to offer than yeah. your own people have to offer, Man. which... It's kind of crazy. And at the same time, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy because whilst you're going over there getting their rewards and their money, then your people are always going to look like poor, broke, stupid, dumb. Uh, Whereas you could have stayed there. Yes, you might get less money, but similar like Cuba. Cuba, I think many years ago, had the most doctors in the world. They were sent doctors to other places. Exactly. Yeah. So, And it's still known as a po poverty place, mm -hmm. but they stood their ground. They knew that America didn't want to move with them. Uh, they stuck to their people. They taught their people. And you know, their people are where they are. So anyway, that was a side note. But so you lived in Dominique, obviously you're saying it was a bit more intellectually advanced there. <clears throat> was your life more advanced? Well, like how sometimes I talk about myself is I know back home in Africa where mm. I was raised, we was a bit more advanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bit more street savvy. And then when you came here, it seems like the people same age as you are a bit more dopey, a bit more soft, a bit more mm. home, you know, tailored. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. It was out there a bit more like, do you know what, it, what you can do? Because I arrived so young, mm. like six is still relatively young. Mm. So although I was already toughened as far as like growing up there, it wasn't too long before I got into the British to get it. Okay. By the time I was 10, I'm British stuff. I'm soft as well. <laughs> Not soft, but you know, like. But yeah, yeah, yeah. What do clothes maybe be? In their madness. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because remember, I know what you mean. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Even down to like, I can remember playing out myself, like, from, like, four or five, no mm. joke, like, just 100%. up and down, like, we're not worried about 
crime like that because everyone knows each other mm. exactly like we know about crossing the road like oh, no. it's my, i can't explain it yeah like, i'll go clean to the bakery like far like down hills and through madnesses i can't explain it like, no. <laughs> whereas your mum wouldn't trust you to do that here though your mom wouldn't trust me to go up the road um in Leighton. Mm. you know mm. but yeah cool and then moving forward you came here how come you lot come here then um that's down to my mum, I would say. Mm. So I wouldn't be able to answer that. Mm. But, yeah. So when you come here, how was life? Obviously, like? they, she broke up with my dad and that, so I don't know. At that age? Before we moved there. Moved there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So that might have been so. So did, did dad come over here or dad stayed there? No, he stayed there. Okay. He stayed in the... But you went back and forth to see dad or dad... Did he come and visit you here? Hell no. So, yeah, yeah, dad, yeah dad was... <laughs> England was mad for that, but um, I went back in '92 for them to have the divorce, and then I think '94. Okay. And then that was the last time I saw him. Mm. Yeah. Until your grown age. Or oh, last funeral. time. <laughs> to his no funeral. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The funeral was in Dominica as well. Yeah. Okay. That was in 016. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So '94 would be the last time I saw him. Mm. Crazy. Mm. And so. Speeding it up then, as you're here, you're 10, how's life like? You said you, Leighton. Yeah, Leighton, I moved to Leighton. When we first moved to England, yeah, I was in Leighton. Okay, and then from Leighton? Leighton moved to, uh, it's in Westbourne Park for a sec with my nan and then to Waltham store. Mm. Are you the only sibling out here? You got other siblings? Yeah, I got two brothers, two sisters from my mum. Okay, and okay. My dad just went mad. Okay, you don't know the numbers. 13, 14, 15, I don't know. Okay. There was a few, they come to the funeral, you get me, they wanted answers. Mm. You're the oldest, yeah? Youngest. You're the youngest? Though. From my mum, yeah. Mom. Not from my dad, but... Okay. Crazy. I'm a baby boy, you get me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when when you do get to 12, whatever age, what school are you in by now? Because uh, obviously you've moved from Leighton to Wolverhampton. Secondary school, Holy Family College. I don't know why they called it a college because it's secondary school. Obviously, they got college as well. But yeah, Holy Family. Um, lots of people went to my school. Leaf will be, Aussie okay. B, Flo Dan. Mm. Um, I know I always say, I always, I always have to big up my school. You get me? Mm. But yeah, enough, enough artists come, come from, from there. Still, yeah, yeah. Same age group? Them lot are younger than me still. Mm. Leaf, Leaf will be in that. Yeah, a couple years younger than me. Mm. Him and Aussie and that. Okay. Flo Dan's older than me though. Okay, okay. Mm. So how did, because obviously everyone knows you from, to be Tottenham then? No. Or from that everyone, if they, if they know me, if the people that actually know me know that I'm from Wolfram Store. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. we got an episode that I done on my channel with me and Action, one of my friends that I used to grow up with, that I grew up with. And then we ended up um, having beef, like proper beef, like shooting after each other and allegedly, to now we're cool. So we've done a podcast, you know, to show the kids that, look, don't go too mad because later down the line, never know. you might be able to pat them back. So, mm. but my whole point with that story, because mm. I digress, so, is that a lot of people knew that I'm from Wolfstow okay. because I was, there was things going on. But well, Wolfstow is east, am I not wrong? North it's east. North east, east if, we be, if we're going to be technical, because it's right, the board, it's got a border with a lot of different Places, Wolfram has a border with Tottenham, which is north. It's got a border with Chinkford, Leighton, Woodford even. You know, yeah. Yeah, because most people would say it was north, like a north, whether it's Tottenham, whether it's these kind of areas. I think that's, Tottenham. as Action would put it, that's when I went into the Champions League. Okay. But people that know me from being in the Premiership know me from Wolfram No, okay. okay. Did, did, did you have any affiliations with Tottenham? That, what he's saying is, that was my assumption, he, he's just from Tottenham. That's why I mentioned to you, I said, you know, Abdul Kareem, Marcus, Indian. Yeah. Because he's from Broadwater Farm Estates. So yeah. there's a perception, okay. Yeah, the, per the perception being, I was in North Star. North Star. Okay. So that's an easy perception. Yeah, North, North Star, Star, do you get what I'm saying? No. But that stemmed from a friendship built in prison. Mm. Okay. You know, with my friend from Tottenham. Okay. Um, C1, mm. you know, and... Went prison at a young age. Um, 
16. So yeah, we got on, we got we, that we got through that, and we kept the link. Mm. And obviously, yeah, they were get they were doing what they were doing. I was doing what I was doing. Then we ended up linking up to do music, and I was just a gas dude. So I just done more than music. <laughs> mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So you started music earlier on as well. Mm. Uh, like you think what sixteen? No, I didn't start music at sixteen. No, okay. I started. That's when I linked to C. Mm. We didn't start music till like maybe 21, 22. Mm. And what about you, you, the schooling? You know, you said you went to prison at 16. Yeah, yeah. Um, why that route? What happened to go down that route rather than, okay, I've been schooled, finished school, go to college, do something else? It was just literally just young. Just young doing whatever everybody else was doing. Do you know what I mean? And had the, um, they made the example. Uh, me and my Cody, to be fair, because for what they gave us at that age, like even like everybody else at that age was getting like six months to do free topping. Do you get what I'm saying? So at that time, obviously now it's a penance, but at that time, getting two years was a, a big sentence. You get me saying like, mm. hold on, man's not even coming out again for another year. It's not a now. We do that on a toilet. But yeah, that's that's what it was. They made an example out of us. And it's weird because you've got me and my cold D that both went to prison young, big up jam. He's never been back to prison. Do you understand? He's changed his life. Then you've got me that, do you know what I mean? It's all gone wrong. Mm. But what I will say is, yeah, I did hone my skills in jail. Mm. Because before I went to prison, I wasn't as advanced in um, crime as I was mm. when, when I when I. Mm. Came up. So prior to 16, when your mum asked us that question, why not the straight path rather than the road path? Would you say then is based on environment? You know, maybe certain elders, the narrative today is that certain elders push the youngsters out without their will. I didn't have elders like that. I had people older than me, but no one couldn't tell me what to do or push. It was more to do with me. Mm. I, I, I'm not even going to lie, I thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. like so I, I enjoyed doing um, bad stuff. Mm -hmm. Like stealing, like it was a um, stuff a lot. But I can remember it was fun. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we run into a shop, we take whatever we run at, it's fun. Mm -hmm. A stuff I'm going mad, isn't it? No, no, no. no this, but, is what, this is what happened, yeah. isn't it? This do you know what I mean? Like, that it was fun until it wasn't fun. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah, that was just... And in hindsight, there's no father figure mm -hmm. as well. So I was I, gonna bring I've, that up. I've said this before mm -hmm. that even I love my mum, RIP, but um, I just don't feel like a woman can raise a man. Mm -hmm. Do you get that? After a certain age, definitely. Just, you can't. She, she tried her best. Don't get it twisted. She didn't teach me madness or everything was the right things, told me the right things to do, but... After after a while, you know, you get to a certain age and it's like mum's licks don't even hurt again. You're just like, mum, allow it. Allow mm. it. What are you doing? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And then then there's the day that you even know a star full of, you just hold her hands like, mum, allow it, please, man. Mm. You don't even, obviously, you can't go too mad on her. Of course, mums, course. But, but now you know your own strength. Yeah, she you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's long, isn't it? So it gets to that, you know. So it's one thing, I mean, you know, from an Islamic angle, uh, the role, the role of a mum is important. The role of a dad is important. Mm. Uh, and bringing up children, boys and girls, both kind of like input is needed. Mm. Sometimes marriages, okay, they don't last. But what's happening is when marriages break, sometimes the woman doesn't want the father to be involved. Sometimes the father, the woman wants the father to be involved. Mm. The father doesn't want to be involved with the kids. He just moves on. But that has a big, big negative impact on the kids. Definitely. Mm. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, and then those kids end up becoming more rocked. And then it becomes a cycle of negative, you know, events that follow on from that. I think I was listening to this, uh, there was this guy anyway, basically, I think he was an American guy and he went to prison for years. Mm. <clears throat> and he was pointing out that a lot of people that are in prison are basically females on the streets. And, and he's the guy that's been in prison, he's mm. done years, but the angle he was going at was, Females are naturally more emotional. That's mm. just their way. And so when they're raising boys and there's no father figure, 
they're emotional towards their sons. Yeah. And then those, those sons pick up the lack of emotion that the parent has and thinks that's the way to act. So on the streets now, I was involved, you was involved. We lash out in ways that we might see our parent, which might be one at this point, over excited, angry over the smallest things. Whereas if you have a disciplined parent, a dad, and it's not all dads. Sometimes you think just having a dad in your house mm. is the solution. But it's the right type of dad. A mm. dad that's disciplined, understands the future, understands where he wants you to go, knows how to raise a child that can probably discipline you. Imagine you had another dad that was just already on the roads himself. Yeah, yeah he's pushing you to do matches. So it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean just because you have a dad that solves it. It has to be a certain type of dad. So the point he was making is a lot of people that's in prison, you would find come from single homes. And because they come from single homes, they have more of a emotional aspects of life. 100%. And so they make decisions on road are emotional. Imam Shadid, remember, the example he was given in America, yeah. where a woman gets in an altercation and she calls her son. And son. She called her son? Yes, her son's in the car. She's got into altercation in the shop, calls her son, son comes, kills the guy. So what he was saying, Imam Shadid was saying, you know what, sometimes a woman will use her emotion to get a someone else to do a, a mate into a problem mm. where a man might have been look you know what so leave this son mm. you know, leave it because now you just messed up his life mm. so that the emotion angle sometimes has an impact 100 yeah. percent. I, I think it was definitely emotional the point i'm making is sometimes i think many of us that was on the streets we lack that emotional intelligence to solve problems and so when we're not solving problems we solve it in ways that we might see in movies we might see our parent mm. etc etc and that's where the father figure and a proper father figure not just any father figure you know, an astute father figure mm. understands life. That's when it comes into, and it, obviously we're a product of that. I would say. Yeah, it's dangerous as well because you know what it is as well. Because obviously I say that now in hindsight, blah blah blah, and all that. Yeah, but then you have to take accountability as well, and it like I still had the choices. Of course, I still made them choices. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because what it is as well, because a lot of people as well they do. Oh, you know, you know, I never had no dad and all mm -hmm. that. Get it. But at the end of the day, we still had our choices to 100%. make. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's not, because then you have people that didn't have their dad and they, they're excelling. So then what? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's still down to your own personal choice. And mm. that's just how man was, isn't it? Mm. Like, Moving forward. Mm, so 16, you're in prison. Yeah. What were we in prison for at this point? Robbery, you're allowed robbery, to mention. Robbery. You got convicted for that, so you can say it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, robbery. robbery. Yeah. How was life like in prison at that age 16? So we're talking about 2000s. I wish. 90s? <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah. So, um. That's when both sides was like under 18 still, was it? We felt them. Like the Falcon and Dunn and. Nah, nah, I felt Swallow, Swallow and all Swallow that was. was under 18. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So all of that, because when I, by the time yeah. I got there, that side was over 18 and yeah. the other side was under. Yeah, no, Solo was under 18. That was the juvenile wing. That was just the juvenile wing? Yeah. Okay. You get me. How was life then? 16 now, first time in prison. Yeah, I, I, like I said, it was all fun to me. I didn't take it seriously. Mm. Like, you know, like I told myself in it, like I knew I'm here for a bit. Like I'm going to be here for 12 months. And it was a long time to me at that and time. Was That was a sentence prison in those days. What, Felton? Yeah. Roman. That was still remind. Yeah, you could you could be there for sentence as well, but they shipped me out to Hollisey Bay. Okay. Holly they shipped Bay. me out to Hollisey Bay. Mm. And then, yeah, then I went only. But yeah, them times I was just young, so I just told myself I'm not going to have it, innit? That's it. Just not going to have it. Mm. Fights. I was all right. No, I weren't really trying it. But that's but me, I'm just not going to have it. I just told myself I'm just not having it. We had a few fights, but I used to more get into problems with, like, officers than... Inmates. Okay. Because I was like anti um, establishment. Yeah. Just felt, I was just angry, innit? Because mm. you have to understand as well. Just like before I went prison, I'd um, like I'd done all my GCSEs and all that, got all past them all. A star, um, I know I keep saying that, English language. And then, you know, tried to go to college. A levels, got kicked out a few colleges. But like, I weren't, that's what I'm saying, it weren't that mad. So it's like when I'm in jail and I'm looking back at it, I'm angry in it, because I'm thinking like, I'm just thinking there's no, you're not going to get a job. Mm -hmm. I can't explain it, but I remember thinking like, it's like I was smart enough to know in it, like you, 
you messed up in it yep. type of thing. In my head, I'm thinking, well, this is it now. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? Well, you you got a couple of people out like you've seen this one's in general. Once I learned, I know I'm starful, I'm getting mad, I'm forgetting where I am. But I'm saying once I learned about drug dealing and all that, uh, that was me. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? That's my job. So prison became like a university. Literally. Mm. Like, obviously, man, you shot a bit of weed or whatever, stuff for long, I'm getting mad. But I'm saying, as far as, like, the other stuff, I didn't know about that mm. properly okay. until I came out again. Like, do you know what I mean? And, right, oh, you can make... Mm. You get me? Cousin brought down a couple of things to me and, yeah, I took it from there. Mm. Ended up going to prison for selling drugs. Again? Later yeah, on. do you know what I mean? 18, 19 or...? Uh, I came out on my 18th birthday. Okay. That's another big deal. So I would have, oh yeah, and then I went back. I would have went when I was 20. Okay. For drug dealing. Yeah. So two years out, went back in? No, I went in for um, remand for a robber I got not guilty. Okay. For that in 2000. Mm. Yeah. And did it start spiraling downwards into in terms of look, more of that kind of like lifestyle? Um, or do you start reflecting and saying, well, you know what, I need to really make some changes? Do you know what? Honestly, it was when I started music, even though we say music is haram or, well, I don't, yeah, but that was actually when I started kind of being a bit more cool in it mm -hmm. because we had a dream. The North Star, when we came together to do North Star, we all had like that same dream. So it was like trying to follow a dream, innit? So now you've got something to follow where I didn't have that before, innit? Okay. Do you know what I mean? It keeps I your just, mind busy with something. What you that you've got something you're thinking in your head that this is, yeah, we can make it or whatever. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's something. And he kept me and obviously kept me out of jail. And then obviously I had, um, you know, C, Lisa, Mafia. Like there was like our managers and it. I remember like see you sit down and you know, me and him used to chat, like have deep conversations. He'd be like, yo, you need to allow the shot in, you need to da 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 da. We're gonna like this thing's about to take off and we're like we we believed in, you know, and to be fair, um, yeah, he 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 patterned me to even come off the road and all that sort of thing. And mm. them times like he had, he had bare dough. I don't know. He, he still got bare mm. dough, obviously. But I'm saying, like, it was a thing where yo, just it's cool. Man will, man will break man off rags. I told man straight. He mm. get me. See, he would break man off mm. to keep man out of mm. doing it's like legit piece. He's trying to tell show you. Yeah, he would just yo. break man off yo fam. To do like make sure and just make sure man's n nice in it type of thing. So that kept man, um, just kept man just. Easy. Do you know what I mean? Just on music, innit? So, so that's like your 20s now, you're looking at 21, 22? Yeah. So then I'll just go back to jail for it, for stupidness, innit? Like what? Um, driving on a ban. Okay. Um, not doing community service, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. Mm. So when did um, the direction towards Islam come in? Well, Islam... When I first when I first got introduced to Islam, it was actually before I even went prison. The first time, and that was through um, a good brother of mine, um, Shaq, rest in peace, R.I.P. Shaq, good brother. From you get Walthamstow. Me? But yeah, from Walthamstow. Okay. So he introduced me and my Cody to Islam. Him and Bola, I just used to like the together because we he, we used to like go to their house and. Literally, we'd be sitting on the floor and eating with our hands, and they would like proper. What's his full name? What's his full name? Shaq. Not from Queens Road. I've got four or five brothers. You 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 from Wolfhamstow? No, I know some other brothers there, man. Uh, am I getting mad? <laughs> Imams from everywhere. Uh, no, I'm... Imams from everywhere, but he knows everything, man. But Sometimes I think he works with the died. police. Or something. That's how this. I'm not. Could be, if, uh, I know. His son had a motorbike accident. Is that the same one? No, I don't think so. Mazawi. Has he got Mazawi. a couple of shabs? Mazawi. 
Nah, yeah. I don't think it's the same one. But yeah, boom. It's so what we do in the restaurants, Imam. These are things we do in the restaurants, not in here, Imam, yeah? <laughs> boom, big up Mazawi if you see this anyway, brother. But yeah, so Shaq, he introduced us at, um, and Bolo. Bolo, if, you, if you're watching him, a good brother as well, proper good brother. Last time I see him, he's in Pennantville. He could be doing 30 years. I don't know what he's doing, but very good brother. But yeah, if you shout me, holler me if you see this. But yeah, so they initially introduced me into Islam and would teach. What's their background? Um, like, I think Africa. he's Afghan, you know. But I know man used, to, man used to call him Mongolian and that though, on some joke team. So I can't remember. But anyway. But from that kind of Asian Yeah, he looked background. like a Mongolian blood. R.I.P. Maya Jenna. But no. yeah, but that was our joke. You get me? But so boom. So I used to go to their house and I used to Yeah, yeah. But he's he's like, you know, teach us little things. And I I liked it. I enjoyed the brotherhood, but where my mum was so religious, and I'm I've actually grown up so religious, it's very hard for me to now move off my thing. To your thing. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Cause my thing, my mum's thing. So it's like I would respect it and all that. And the maddest thing is Michael D, the one that stayed out after he turned Muslim. Before you? Yeah, he turned Muslim before, from even before when we went on that first sentence. He was oh, actually man. Muslim oh, already. Okay. But I hadn't taken it on him. So he was Muslim. So he'd go, he'd go masjid and I'd go to church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway. So that was the initial, first initial, then obviously went through that sentence, whatever, whatever. Then I got reminded again for some next robbery and then I went Woodhill. And that's when I first took Shahada. Mm. But unfortunately it was just because to get good, better food, in it. <laughs> unfortunately, you get what I'm saying? But that, I know, <laughs> I'm getting mad. Better food. But that's, that, no, but bear in mind, I'd already, that, I'd already yeah, yeah, learned from Shaq certain things, uh -huh. you get me? But, was that because the brothers were cooking or it was like the prison food though? It was... Um, like usually the Asian brothers bring Ramadan. in their, their, their... Yeah, yeah, Ramadan. Ramadan. They give you food, yeah, yeah. So when they're getting their food to eat after it's proper kebab and that, <laughs> it's not now, nah, but you're not, you know... You, you, do you get what I'm saying? I can't believe what's going on. And bear in mind, so... It, so yeah, imagine... Bro, getting bro, with chicken bro with imagine like you're there on some noodles argument, mm -hmm. yeah? And then you're... you're Soulmate is having a madness in for like, and it's all tense in the cell now because man don't even want to share it because man ain't ate all day, and man want to tell you that they ate all day, and that no. Do you get what I'm saying. Man, so if you forget this, it's one, one a little piece of the kebab, brother. No, it's one a little piece of man want to tell you they ate all day, but anyway, no. immediately Muslim, straight away, no delay. You get me next morning. Straight away. Um, Bear in mind, that's what I'm saying. I've really, my, my, my Cody, well, he's not my Cody now, nah, it's no. a new sentence, but what, he's Muslim. I know I've got Muslim brothers. Shaq's yeah. still alive. So you're saying you're comfortable with the Dean, though? If, yeah. If, Shaq's still alive. I just know I'll, I'll pattern up. Yeah. I'll pattern up. Yeah, yeah. Right now, let's get the kebabs. No. Do you know what I mean? So, boom. But I'm thinking I could just do that and get kebab. No. Not knowing now you've got to go. You, Must. They're telling me I've got to go masjid and everything. Yeah. Like, I've got to go Friday prayer. You've got to fulfill what you're saying. Do you get what I'm saying? So now, it's a different level now. So I'm starting to look into it. Look, and then it, I remember looking into it and, you know, sitting and finding out so much things. Because like I said, I was religious as far as Catholic. Like mm. my mum was Catholic. So I knew a lot about the Bible. Mm. Do you get that? So when I'm going through the Quran and I'm, oh my, like it's all bare things that I already know. Similar. It's in a hair, mm. but it's told in a different way that I can more check for this way. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. my, my brain or something's more attaching to this. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But I get it because I already know it. Mm -hmm. I've heard of this story of Moses, Musa. I, I know Moses. Mm -hmm. Musa. Do you get what I'm saying? All these names, I know them. No. Isa. I know he's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all you. different names, but Ibrahim. Abraham, I know it. These are things I know. Really? So anyway, yeah. so that was that. And then, so bit by bit, bit by bit, I'm more getting into it, getting into it. Then I got not guilty, so I bust that case. Ended up um, back on road. So then, bit by bit, I kind of lost it again, innit? Like, unfortunately. That's how the streets are. Unfortunately. And it was sad because by the time I left Woodhill, you know, I was I was doing the Azan. Mm. I was doing the Azan. That's how I, I engrossed myself into, in it at one point. 
So, yeah, so then I got caught up. Obviously, and you, see the other thing as well, yeah? See, when your friends are not Muslims, yeah? Mm. It's more easier to get drawn back into madness, isn't it? And the, to be, my friends weren't really Muslims, isn't it? Like, couple, man, innit? Do you know what I mean? But... Mm. It's easier to... Next man is like, next man is like, bro, like, what's going on? You're not eating pork, but you're, you know what I mean? But you're, you see me? Like, you're doing the, stuff. the damn thing, but mm. you're not going to eat pork. Man was saying madness to me where I'm thinking, raw. so am I going mad? Like, I'm not thinking eating pork is, I need to eat, like, a star full, so I'm going mad. Mm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Allah knows best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going mad. Get yourself back in here. So I've had to go back to jail, boom. And it's mad because when I went back to jail, I was reading the Bible, Psalms and all that. I remember. When you went back this time? When I went back again, because mm. I went back again, I think, oh, four. And I was banged up with whack as free, free wax. But yeah, so it was just a weird journey for me, innit? Mm. And then, so then, yeah, and then I got back into Quran, I know. It's mad. Oh. So that's your, been your journey? Yeah. But, there's but a, it's a time period also where South London was, yeah, kicking off with Shahadas and Brixton Brothers. Yes, a lot yes. Of Brixton Brothers. Did that have an impact on you? No. You no. didn't link any brothers from, from, from South? Yeah, I linked brothers from South, but it didn't have, that wasn't nothing to do with Because you was Muslim reason. before that? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It okay. had nothing to do with my reasoning. And even a, a lot of the brothers, a staff a lot that, the brothers that man link, they always want badness, bro. Mm. We didn't, we weren't linking in masjid. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. The only thing with that generation, you know, that generation with shortcomings, mm. one thing, important one was they kept up their salah. Exactly. And the second one, there's no beefing with Muslims. That generation, 2005, there's some Muslims, easy to squash any issue. Mm. Muslim, Muslim, fine. You know what? You're our brother. You know, credit to them, Akhi, credit to them. It's the generations that came after. Things got a bit messed up. Free Hamza, you know, people like Hamza mm. took it upon themselves to proper mm. you see me. But with that though, that's the, that's one thing as well that I found it hard. I found it hard to kind of think because it was like, bro, a lot of man's ops was Muslim, alleged like they're saying they're Muslim, innit? Mm. So now what? Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because I hear what you're saying, but they're not looking at me and thinking they're going to allow me. Mm. Or they, and it's mad because even like I've, I've, I went to and I've seen man come masjid, yeah? Friday prayers. I've seen you. You're, we're praying together. I've seen you. And then we come out and you're not Muslim now. Or you're, so I've already accepted that this is all mad. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You can't, I'm, I'm not that guy. Like, oh yeah, because he's Muslim. Like, saying some people are that. using it basically. Yeah, yeah, I hear that because he's Muslim, because we should, of course we should. We should all be brothers. We should all be. So then if if this is the case, so why should another Muslim brother be able to be on the internet talking rubbish about me? Mm. Or you're saying, or you're talking like you're tough now. Mm. Or this, that. But I ain't said nothing. I ain't made this speech towards you. Mm. I've, I've protected you, if anything, because I ain't even said the realness of, how mad about them? I'm going, I digress. But the point being, like, some people yeah. use the deen to hoodwink, but they'll still be not Muslim and do something, yeah, opposite. I don't know. Allah knows best. My point being, I, I don't know what's in anyone's one's, mm. one's heart. But I don't know seems. what's, but if you're dealing with me like, mm. a, like a brother, mm. I'm going to deal with you like a brother. Mm. If not, it's like Imam, we, we was talking earlier, I would prefer just stay away from me. Mm -hmm. And that's the best, that's what you get as a brother, mm. is that I won't come and look to pitch you. Mm. That's the most. The only thing I would add to that, uh, Brother Gaddafi, is one, that generation, there was a revival. Mm. And I do believe those brothers are very sincere. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was a misunderstanding of Islam. You know, certain things they were doing, you know, justifying it, mm. but it's haram, shouldn't be doing it. Mm. But there was sincerity and there was a revival. And I do feel somehow, People got involved, maybe agents, to kind of like break the brotherhood and cause a fitna, internal fitna. Yeah. So that's one aspect. The other aspect is something we discussed, you know, prior to the podcast is Islamic teachings. We've got to follow that. And those teachings are you forgive, you forget, you love, you trust. 
Yeah, mm. not just for Muslims. Look, that should be given to youngsters just in general. Just to get you killed mm. on the streets, and I'm in the streets, yeah. so I can't over give away my trust like that. Because mm. I'm still Allah knows best, but I'm in these streets, mm. so I can't be out here just trusting. Because mm. a lot of men have been out here trusting. Where are they? They who are they trusting now? Yeah, no, you take your precaution. But obviously, no, if whatever happens to me, like yeah. uh, Yusuf said, I like this one. Mm. Whatever happens to me, Alhamdulillah. Not like, like yeah. but at the same time, I still have to, mm. do you know what I mean? Mm. You take the precaution. Yeah. But if something is for the sake of Allah, mm. yeah, Allah's going to put barakah in it. Mm. If you're coming and somebody's conniving, trying to deceive, but you're coming because you know what? Yeah. It's yeah. for the pleasure of Allah. Mm. Allah's going to protect you. I hate you. But yeah, precautions, of course, I roads that needs to be. Yeah, yeah look, obviously, we're talking from two different angles. He's talking from the angle of he's on the streets. Mm. So obviously Imam's talking from the perspective of maybe people who was on the streets trying to practice and maybe leaving. I think, and we've had these conversations yeah. before. For me personally, my view has always been, look, if you're trying to practice, mm. it's best not to try to practice with both foot on both sides. Yeah. Try to take one side out at least. <laughs> and you understand? But yes, at the same time, some will say, look, at least you're practicing, you're praying salah. Yes, you're doing some haram, you're drug dealing, you might be whatever, but when you're doing two things at the same time, something's going to give someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say mm. to you? And as you've shown from your things, especially if you have certain friends that's not Muslim as well, mm. it, it makes the argument for being on the roads much more pleasant, much more easier to do than to say practice how maybe Imam is talking about practicing, which is like forgive, trust, mm. all these no, no, kind no. of wholesome words, which sound nice. Of course, you should have all of that. But if you're dealing with certain pagans, if you're dealing with people who say this, this when on the other side, they're doing certain things, you don't know what's it's very difficult <laughs> to play that game. So that's what I always say when you're on the streets, when you just tell me, Abdul Latif, how can someone be Muslim and do certain things? It's because they're Muslim, man, but they're not really... Because to be a Muslim, sometimes we misunderstand it. Allah saying to you, you're a Muslim, someone who submits to the will of God. That's what a Muslim means. Now, of course, we pray. But are you submitting your will to Allah in all your aspects? No, you're not. No, but I agree with both, you know, Gaddafi and yourself. But, but, there's got to be boundaries, I think. Of course. Mm. And those boundaries... What, also... boundaries on the roads? Well, look, Islam, let, I know, I... Islam, but let, let's say as somebody's on the road, at the same time... <laughs> You can't kill a Muslim, actually. That, that, that's like a life That's what sacred. I said. That's what I said. That's the most you'll get out of me that I won't look to pitch you. But mm. certain man will still look to pitch, you know, a stuff. Or like, if I feel like mm. that's what you're wrong with me, mm. you get trying to kill if you. I feel like that's what you're, you're looking at me like that, then is that not in my right? Yeah, but then you'd have to look at what but is I get the cause. Because well. it's, it's, like, it's like a mom said that. Right? If you, because I, I get that as well. A lot, a lot of things happen to me. Not a lot of things, but when I check, when I check um, hindsight, mm. things that have happened to me that I've, it's when I'm not doing the right thing. Mm. I can't explain it. Yeah, but yeah, every yeah. time I'm doing, have you noticed? He said, was it him or someone said, oh, normally when people come here, they're with someone. Yeah, yeah, I said. Bro, that. I'm here on my own. Mm. A lot of a lot of things I go I'm, I go on my own. Like I said, if it happens to me, Alhamdulillah. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm coming to meet Imam. I'm coming to do something good, something, do you understand? So I'm with him. When I'm walking in that, I, I feel like I'm untouchable, mm -hmm. inshallah. Chamber. But because I'm walking in my purpose, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So if you're doing the right thing, nine times out of ten, right. Allah you. will have you. you. Inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Do you get what I'm saying? Inshallah. Mm. Inshallah. Hasbunallah wa ni'mil wakil and I leave my house. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. I leave my house with Hasbun. Mm. And I'm here. And that's how it should but be. Like, I, like I'm saying, I'm not going to be fooled either. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to be fooled. Mm. But we don't, to add to that, so, you know, inshallah, we'll come to your podcast because it's a, it's a platform, it's a medium. Mm. But your older brother, I'm like your older brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, generation before yeah. you. So I would want my youngers, my brothers to use their platforms to use their skill, because Allah's given you a skill, Akhi. You, mm. you do speak well, mm. you are knowledgeable. There's a lot of experience to change society for the better, man. Mm. And youth from your podcast, from when you speak, need to be hearing positivity. Uh -huh. And they should never be, <laughs> they should never be like, you know what, young spray something saying to about our next brother on his podcast mm. or dissing anyone. Or Always. Walking, you know, mm. this is important, Akhi. They need to hear 
from the, it's, it's, you're a leader now, Akhi. Mm. Yeah, for your podcast, you're a leader. So people, mm. look, the brother that came took Shahada. First time he's meeting you, but he's been watching your podcast. Yeah. So, you know, to... But he's still coming to take Shahada. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. But okay. he's been watching my podcast. Yeah. So you understand that it doesn't matter what I'm saying or what... It's a job, innit? Not like that, but a lot of people go, to, they leave work, I mean, they leave their house and they go to work and their work might not be fully... Um, Allow. Okay. Mm -hmm. they, I, don't, I can't explain it. Yeah. They might have to do... I, I can't explain it, but it's yeah. my job. Mm -hmm. Like, my co-host is not Muslim. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking to the, 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 the Muslims. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? This yeah, is a bit different. A this is our thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you come to the bridge, you know what you're getting. It's mm -hmm. our thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, my, it's, it's a bit different. It's controversial. It's, it's different. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's like, with the music, when I was doing music, yeah, I used to get, like, a lot of things as well. I still do music sometimes, but it's like, oh, you shouldn't say this, you shouldn't say that, you shouldn't say that. But I've always had a different mentality, um, Imam, because I'll be like, shouldn't say this, you shouldn't say that. I get that, yeah? But then you shouldn't be listening. Mm -hmm. So now what? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So now what? Because mm -hmm. then you shouldn't be listening. So it's like, I get that and I understand that and I try in it, but I'm responsible like we all are. We're, yeah, we're, all, we're all gonna have, have yeah. We're all gonna I'm, have that conversation. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm alright with my conversation that I'm gonna have, and I can answer, that's that's all. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, cause I know a lot. Well, we all know it's a lot. A lot of things. Everything is to do with intentions. Mm -hmm. and my intention ain't when I sit down and I say, "Boom, welcome to the R10 podcast show." My intention ain't to cause harm. It's not to. Like, if anything, we're pushing a good narrative. We're showing that you can come from where we've come from and change. Mm. That's why we had Brother Yusuf on there. Sure, the, yeah. 22 years behind bars, seven years, um, solitary confinement. They fought against that brother. Mm. They didn't even want to release him. Mm. They're saying terrorism. Same thing with chaos. They, mm -hmm. He had a seven-year wreck, done 22 years. Mm. Do you understand? So that's the sort of people we want to put bring to the forefront. Mm. And... Yeah, I, I, get, I get it. I get a lot of... um Because people say to me, oh, you're drinking Magnum. Oh, you're doing this, you're doing that. Mm. Apologies. Mm. But it's me that's got to get... When I when you um, saw me downstairs praying, I wasn't praying to you. Mm. I wasn't praying to him. I'm praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if, when I say astaghfirullah, I don't say astaghfirullah to you respectfully. Or yeah, you, of course, I say astaghfirullah. Allah, anyway. Do you understand? Everything, yeah. I'm not watching... I should, I know, it sounds mad, but I'm just being honest. No, for the, you're doing it for yeah, the sake of Allah. That's you understand? I'm not, when I do things, I don't think like, oh, you know, it's what for this person going to think or what is that person going to think? And I'm not wrong and strong as well. So let me put this, mm -hmm. so I know you're right. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm saying this is where you yeah, are right now. Yeah, yeah, ultimately you're right. Mm -hmm. I will never say that, oh, you should, I should be... Because it's like Musa will come and start saying madness to me as well. He will be with you lot. But because he's the one that's always like, oh, bro, you need to do, you need to stop doing. They, I get it. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Don't think the brothers... You need that friend. That yeah. No, need that person. The brothers are on to me. Mm. Don't think they're just letting me... Alhamdulillah. Go to and mm. think it, I'm saying, doing something sensible. They are me, but it's like, man, know me, innit? Mm. Like, same with um, Al-Haji, Kinte and Ibi. Mm. Big them up. Because I've got proper good brothers that I can phone, mm. that understand me, and they're very good brothers, mm. and deep in the deen, you get me? And they'll be able to like, yo, do, do, do. I phone I phone them all the time. Mm. Like, if I'm on a spiritual law, I can phone my brother and he'll say, they understand me, innit? Mm. Mm. So they give me that, Inshallah. you get what I'm saying? But I, I understand I shouldn't be so mad, but... No, I think the point you're making, Akhi, which is what we sometimes also speak about is that, what you do, of course, ultimately, Allah is the one who judges. And that's mm. everyone, Akhi. You know, Umar, radiallahu anhu, that's the same thing he said. He said, that you should, you should check yourself or you should weigh your deeds mm. before you're checked, meaning that Allah checks you. Mm. And that you should, and then, and that you should weigh your deeds, meaning like you should, am I doing good in this? Am I doing bad? Like you mm. should weigh it. Weigh up. Before the one who's going to weigh up for you. God mm. is going to weigh up for yeah, us yeah. one day. Was... You know, spray what he done that day. Was that good? Was this good? Yeah. Which one outweighed yeah. that one? Yeah. Allah is going to do that. No one here is going to ever do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes as Muslims, not even sometimes, a lot of Muslims, sadly, 
we run to, actually, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, not understanding where that person is at that po point in their life. Mm. Now, I'm not going to say those people are coming from a bad place. Majority of them are coming from a good place. Yeah. But it's maybe how and when and why, and you understand? Mm. That's probably more to be understood. But I get your point, Akhil. You no, are no, where you negative, are. Young Spray. I'm doing it on a positive, Akhil. You're right? showing up in a positive in the sense that Allah's blessed you mm. with skills, mm. experience, leadership. Mm. And inshallah, the youngsters need to get those right kind of like vibes and so on. You, you, brother, you said podcast, Akhil. Mm. Big up, you yeah, know, yeah, that, you done in you done in ten minutes like this, isn't it? Was it like ten minutes, ten minutes? I did no, that, that was that's I cut, that was trailers. That's, that's, I cut up trailers. a lot of them. Yeah, I just okay. But he was just so watch, good. He's such a great. I'm how to edit stuff. We'll teach him about editing. That. That. And that was a two hours. Was it two hours? Isn't it? Four hours. Four hours. That four hours over four hours. It was such a good. Um, wow. It was such a good conversation. Very good. That I had to split up in because sometimes some people just rather watch ten. Yeah, yeah. They just rather watch ten minutes. So what I done is I just chopped it up. Flung out like different oh, bits up until the full release, Mashallah. and then boom, mm. you know, and yeah. then just flung no, no, it out. But that one, a lovely that's brother, what, Rahi, lovely brother, yeah. lovely brother, and he he's, he represented well. Mm. He represented the dean well. You get what I'm saying? As a man, like, articulate. Do you understand what? Who's gonna look at that and say that's not a man? That all we can do is take from face value. We can't look it, but mm. as far as we can see or hear. Doesn't that sound like a rehabilitated so, man? Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. And the positive... Sounds like a rehabilitated man, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, so... Yeah, he got a good feeling. Big him up. I spoke to him. He's, he's actually doing James English today, actually. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's, there on, yeah, he's no, doing... He's doing, his he's doing bits. How lad, long has he been out? Lad Bibles got on to him, like... How long has he been out? Uh, about a year, I think. Okay. Three really. months, maybe. Mashallah. Relatively new. Yeah. So we've gone off track slightly. Let's try to bring it back. So you've been in and out. You became Muslim in Woodhill due to the kebabs. Yeah. And, and then went, you come out. I went back, going mad, but then... You went yeah. back, read some Psalms when you went back. Yeah, and then ended up back. On the roads. On the roads, but I ended up back um, taking Islam seriously. Okay. So there was a point you took it kind of more seriously. Yeah, and I would say that's 06, 07. Mm, sure. 06, 07, because then I went scrubs in 07. Like I said, yeah, and I was getting masjid mm. the whole way through. So you had, you've had, you had like a journey with yeah. it until now, but, obviously. Yeah, but that's why, I've, but one thing with me is I've never, like even when I came off the dean, it wasn't that I came off the dean to be an atheist. Do you get that? I yeah. was still praying to a lot, but... Yeah. God or whatever, but it's still Allah. Mm. But I'm just not, no, you know what I'm saying? You mm. just don't know. You're just still praying to Allah, innit? Mm -hmm. You're just getting mad. But because I used to, I love the Psalms, innit? Mm. Like certain things, like, it's the beat bear Psalms. So it's mm. like, it was hard for me to like, not beat Psalms. I can't explain it. Mm -hmm. you when you mean? beat Psalms, you mean Read reading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I didn't understand it, but cool. And then from that, you're, you're in your late 20s now or mid 20s this time now? Um, but after the um, coming out, seven, I would have been, yeah, 26. Mm. Yeah, 26. okay. Life is like now because you're still doing music, mm. obviously, in and out of prison. Yeah, friends around you, good people. Well, that's actually where the brothers come into it as well, around that time, or seven or eight. Yeah. Which brothers are you referring to? Just um, Muslim brothers. brothers everywhere. Like, mm. you know, sat, big up Mus and that. My brother. Mus, you met him that time, long time ago, like 2007, yeah? Mus, from before, but I'm saying oh. not Mus, I'm talking about Mus, Mouse. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, Mouse, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mouse from Brixton. Ali and them were, oh, you get me, yeah. Shogun, you know what I mean? The brothers, them, innit? Mm. So, yeah, H. Yeah, remember them times still. Mm, also, horse, yeah, you yeah, get yeah, me yeah. horse and then move at it like they man, yeah, yeah. man then pick up the, the dean and they were moving hard, did it? So mm, mm. you get me. That had an impact on you, positive impact to say, look, you know what? Do you know what? It was a lovely, it was a lovely time in it because there was a togetherness there. Mm. And I I could see it, you know. And even though I was on the outside, because obviously I'm from a different ends. I was still accepted Mashallah. as a brother. So yeah. I felt that, so it brought me even closer. 
to the deen. To Islam. Because yeah. I remember them times, people was like, oh, this guy lives in South or something. But what it was, is my babe mother lives in South. Mm -hmm. So naturally I'm there all the time, innit? Mm. And it's Brixton, innit? So the brothers them looked after me, innit? Like, they took me in, mm. wife for that. Mm. No, I had to. No, I had to. <laughs> it was the fuck? No, sorry, I had to. I had to. <laughs> Put it on finger for They you. didn't take me in, but mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? No. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, the no. man them look after They're the good brothers. Yeah, do you get I what I'm saying? That, that, that stage was it everywhere. Was yeah. kind of, you. everyone was talking about Islam. He was in the newspapers. He was talking about in prison. Tiny. Mm. You get yeah, me? There was a bag of people, mashallah. And we, yeah, it was, it was a good time, man. Mm. And they, they were, it was a, that's the generation I'm referring to, actually. Yeah. But, you know, proud about their Islam. They were wearing thobes, they were wearing the scarf. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you know, anybody asked them, I'm a Muslim. You know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's clear. Mm -hmm. They had an impact on a younger generation to be more proud and so on. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you get uh, the man named Zimmy. The man that was there and like, you couldn't know. really chat to the man. You hear me? Like, mm. yeah. Mm. The man that was defending the deed mm. wickedly. Mm. You get me? I'm going mad. Mm. When you we spoke about this before, what's with, I'm not privy to these words no more. So the why, what's that all about? What does that mean, bro? The you why? Say, you use the word why a lot. What's because the Because you, what did the guy? What did that guy say to me? Why? Why I used to? Can you remember? He said, "And I like your, I follow you or something like that. Like I, I like your music or something." He like said, that. "I rate your thing." Yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I said, "Why for that?" No. Why is like pause, isn't it? It's like in America they say pause for anything, sounding a bit mad. <laughs> you get me? You rate my thing. Why? For why for that? Car my thing. Could okay. be anything. Okay. <laughs> you need to state what you read. Okay. You get me, but okay. it's, I'm just. If it's a bit funny, but it's just what a, saying. It, you know what? It's just it's literally tongue in cheek, innit? it? That's what they call it. Innit? It's yeah. a joke, innit? it? Yeah. But it's a way. It's it's a joke, but it's a serious joke as well. Mm. When you pre it, because mm. it's me showing. I'm. I'm. That's not my thing. Mm. Lava. I'm. That, that's not my thing. Like I'm still. Okay. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, and this comes from America. The poorest thing comes from America. Still, with the white thing, I think it comes from Yard, you know. I, I heard, um, I think, a popcorn and them. But actually, I heard it was getting said in Yard years ago. Mm. But, yeah, over here, them hackney started saying it. But obviously, man made it popular, innit? Mm. You do tend to find, even back in the day, to be fair, that a lot of lingo mm. comes from Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, definitely. A lot of lingo. Definitely. You see Africans, Somalis, we was all using it. You'd think... If you close your eyes, you're speaking to a man from Jamaica. Yeah. Seriously, if you close your eyes and heard how we used to speak blood and yeah. all the things yeah. we used to use, the words we used to use wasn't native to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wagwan. And Wagwan. Think about it, like how we used to speak. And you, people would make jokes about it now, like they was find an Asian man, say, yo, Wagwan, and yeah. mock it. But, you know, but yeah, you where does it come that? from? Yeah, yeah. It, it comes from, and it shows you how powerful the Jamaican black culture spreads whether it's America or whether it's here. Mm. Like yeah, they have, they have a... Yardies everywhere, man. You mm. find a yardie in Iceland somewhere <laughs> with a line. You know the ones they find a yardie in Iceland somewhere with a, with a line. No. Yeah, meet me under the bridge. No. Oh, man, said so the bridge. Oh. You get what I'm saying? Imagine that. <laughs> no. That was just, you get what I'm saying? Okay. No. One thing, one a positive. Mm. Uh, uh, I think a brother mentioned, he said, look, uh, uh, Yaks Priest stopped smoking weed. Mashallah. Is that, yeah, 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 yeah. He looked up in the air and I was like, I, I did stop for a bit, still eight months. Mashallah. That's good. Okay. I'm back, I'm that. back again though. Okay, but on the podcast, I mean. No, not the podcast, not on the podcast. Because okay. there were some podcasts you were in the beginning. Yeah, when, when I started, yes. Okay, but it's a positive. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'll make it easy. Putting it all in the air. But the reason, I can't this time, because you can't, if he was allowed to smoke in there, <laughs> I would have asked, no, I'm joking. No, I'm joking, I'm, no. I'm going. Oh, but it's a fitness of yours. No. It's a struggle of yours. Definitely. But I did quit for eight months, though. MashaAllah. I done well. But what happened is that because obviously I know I just bucked in some big man's stress again. And it's like, oh, this is weird. Yeah. <sighs> All right, cool. Mm. All right. Now. But really, I should have went and prayed. Mm. So progression, Akhi. And that's why, you know, inshallah, Umrah. Mm. Umrah Have you done Umrah? No. Akhi, inshallah, is going to come with me. Inshallah. So that's a big, good, big change, Akhi. That's, that's progress. Bro, actually. I'll be honest with you. The first time I quit properly was when I came back from Gambia. Okay. Mm. And I quit for about two months that time. Because obviously, 
Ibra, I, Ibi, um, Osman's brother. Um, I was it's staying in his house. So it's like there's no small kid. You know, like Inshallah. we're praying five days a day. You just, by the time I, I came back to England, I hadn't smoked for like five days. So I just thought, wow. Oh, Carry on. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And that lasted for two months. Then it's like, yeah, so. Environment is key. Actually. And you know, what, one, one story they used to tell us a lot in prison, which you know about, is the man who killed 99 people. Mm. Then the reason they tell that story, I, I used to think, why do you keep telling this story, Imam? <laughs> like, he just killed every other yeah. Friday. Like, and you know, there was a man who killed 99 <laughs> people. Like, Imam, you told this two weeks ago. It's every prison. No, I'm but you learn you it, you're the Imam. You learn it, though. Of course. <laughs> but now, obviously, in high side, I've left the roads or whatever, it's like you understand it. When you've done so much dirt, when you've done so much filth in a particular area, and you're known for that, everyone knows you for that, you're respected for that, or you're feared for that. By leaving that, and I'm linking it to the whole Gambia thing, by leaving and going to another society, no one knows you. Mm. You're with good people. Now you've got new habits. Mm. You don't need to uphold a persona or anything like that because no one knows you. And now these people, certain things that you might do, they might look at you in a wrong way, like if you smoked or drank the thing. So you might not do that. Mm. So when you move yourself from certain environments for a particular amount of time, so the Umrah thing maybe, inshallah, mm. And you do it for a month, two months, three months, Akhi. It has an effect. Yeah, yeah, Changing happy. your friends has an effect. Environment has an effect. Definitely. So, you know, inshallah, Umrah, Akhi, will be a big shout. Trust me. Everyone who's done it, they, they feel it once they leave. You know, on me, man. That, see, when I, when I told Musa, he's like, he's like, yep, you're going. <laughs> inshallah, Musa comes along with us, inshallah. He's what like, Musa is this? He said the Musa. Brixton, smiley. Okay. okay. Mm. I have to see his face. He said, oh, man. It'll be good, Akhi. Trust me, man. Mm. But I, I need to go with um, Imam. Imam, anyway. yeah, yeah. It's a shout, Akhi. Show me. Nah, nah. nah. It's a spiritual, like you said about Gang Gambia, was a spiritual kind of Yeah, thing. It was, that was a spiritual journey. This so one's proper definitely. one. Mm -hmm. Like, I came out strong. Mm. Like, it was like, uh, uh, that was probably that, I think I was most of my dean when I came back from Gambia, you know. No. Nah. Like, you couldn't, that like, was, yeah. Mm. I would stop, I would go gym and stop training to go and pray. And then go back and pray. I, I was on it like, mm. I needed to pray on the dot. Mm. That wasn't a long, 2019. On the dot. Yeah, it wasn't long I needed ago. to pray on the dot. But now, I'll do fudge, no. a stuff a lot, and then I'll have to make up my prayers before mm. Isha. Mm. Mm. That's why I always, you see me praying for so long that they can't. Mm. You have to make up. Do you know what I mean? No. But before, I need to do it at that time, mm. on the dot. Mm. When I came back from Gambia, it was it was it was a joy mm -hmm. to see even people. My brethren used to say that like, you know, you're like, yeah, inshallah, man, get back inshallah, there, get inshallah. your car, you're untouchable still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you say like when what part of your struggles till now would it still be like friends around you? Like there's not a lot of Muslims, or would you say just personally, and you're not seeking it out? Like, what is your struggles like when you look into it? I don't. Because faith is obviously a thing that fluctuates. We know it's never going to be, mashallah, skyrocketing yeah, all yeah. the time. It has fluctuations, but it, the fluctuations also have things that make it go down and things that make it go up. What it is with me, I actually don't link no one. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't link no one, did you say? Not really. I'm too busy. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Because mm. people see the podcast, they see it on the screen, great. They don't realise it's not just, yeah, there's scene. so much I've got to do. Mm. No one else ain't doing it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, as far as timestamps, little things like that, all them trailers, who do you think timestamp them to get them out? Mm. Okay, you do that who, yourself, yeah? Yeah. Do you, You're editing as well then? I've got an editor, but I still have to send him the timestamps. Yeah, okay. As to say, cut it from here to there yeah, to there. Which you're watching it. Cut it from, you, you understand? I'm doing the editing. I'm just sending him the timestamps. He just knows how to do that. But all of that, I run my, this day, it's my YouTube channel, isn't it? Mm. So I've got to upload stuff. I've got to, I've got to be watching old stuff to find old clips. Just, this is the, I've, then I've got to be finding, all these, it's not easy finding, I have a guest every week. Yeah. No one else does that. Mm. Consistent for people. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Look for people, phone them, have to book this. This is a lot. Mm. This is the seven days I've got to do this for each mm. episode. Mm. So, do you know what I mean? Like, even I'm filming tomorrow. Like, it's, it's a job, but I'm, even down to this, like, I looked at this, like, you know, like, I have to come. 
Not that. Do you get what I'm saying? Not like that. But as far as I'm concerned, this whole thing where I find myself at now, it's like a job hacky. Mm. This, not in a bad way, but this is like coming to work to me. Mm. Like, alhamdulillah, not to, but I have to come. This is what I do. Mm. And it's good, actually. No, but you get what I'm saying? This is what I do. How can I say, oh, you come? No. Mm -hmm. But this is what I do. Obviously, just so everyone not, I'm not just going to go on any podcast. I'm not going to do that. But I'm saying, like, how can I not? Mm. This is, and you, you lot have done very well mm. since you started this podcast. You built up the bridge that people know that for, as our thing. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why, mm. you know what I mean? You need to have Yusuf on there. And, mm. so, you know, it's our thing. Yeah, but also on the point of when I was saying about the fluctuation and I was saying. Was I going mad? Have I not answered it? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Like, what, yeah, go back. To, I just, that's yeah. my job is to bring yeah, you back to the you, original what, point. Yeah, I'm, going. No, I'm just saying, obviously, you struggle uh, from your conversations we're having. I can see there's obviously oh, ebbs and right. flows. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying in ebbs and flows, there are reasons why it goes up and there are reasons why it goes down. Mm. Have you checked to see, like, when you're going up, what are making it go up? When you're going down, what's going down? Is it friends? Is it narr Is it the, the relationships you have? Is it the area? Is it whatever? You understand? Because the whole point of the bridge, mm. as you know, we're trying to bridge. Different sides, Zahi. Someone might look at Imam and think he's mashallah practicing because he wears the this, but I know him behind the scenes, so we know what we know. Mm. Someone might look at what you do and think, yeah, Mark, this guy's it, watch it, watch this, it, yeah. this guy's watch haram and he's doing music. But behind the scenes, you might be doing other stuff, Zahi. Do you understand? When you're bridging like this, people see your other side, Zahi. Mm. You know what? Yeah, it's a brother that's struggling, but he's a Muslim and he, he has this side of him and he has that side of him. Mm. We've had lots of people on here that people might think they're gangbangers. Mm. Behind the scenes, we know them to be different. Mm. So we're not here to look at your thing and think, mashallah, this guy is this or that. But it's for you to show the people, you know what? These are the reasons I was going down. These are the reasons going up. For, to see themselves in your story. Because even in the Quran, the beautiful thing about the Quran is when you read it, you see yourself in there. When Allah talks about Yusuf, maybe when he talks about Moses, when he talks about Ibrahim, mm. there's a part of that story that we're in there somehow, whether it's our father left us or mm. someone died or someone got killed or whatever. So in yourself, do you sometimes look and say, you know what, when my iman's up, it's because of this, and when it's down, it's because of this. Do you know what? I think I think it's a lot to do with surroundings mm. and who you're talking to as well, isn't it? Because it's not like, how can I put it? Like, obviously, Gambia, yeah, like you said, isn't it? Like, it's different. You hear Azan five times a day. It's a Muslim country. You know, so you're, it's, it's, it's like you're, it's like something pushing you in, in your back to go and pray. Mm. Even if you, even if you forgot or whatever, you can't like, when you, once your hair is on, like, what are you going to do? Mm. Act like you never heard it. No, that's like smiley to like, telling me it's time to pray. Like, do you know what I mean? You're going to, it's time to pray in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, so it's definitely got a lot to do with, um, environment. surroundings, environment mm. and all that. But, um, as far as my imam, even sometimes it might seem down, but it's up. If that makes sense, because I'm always very close. I always talk um, directly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I talk directly. I say, Alhamdulillah, Allah, I say your stuff, Allah, Allah. I say, everything I do. So it's always there. So, it, it, but maybe my prayers, I might not be doing them on time. Mm -hmm. Or, but I've always got that relationship. Mm -hmm. Do you know? The consciousness. Yeah. So that's what I don't lose. But yeah, definitely mm -hmm. it is a lot to do with um who you just to add to that put spread. yourself around and yeah, spray, just to add to that. So you know, Iman, Iman. Mm. One, okay, we've got to value all of us, gotta value it. Mm. It's a deciding factor in terms of look where I'm gonna be in the hereafter. Mm. And this world also is temporary. Meaning 50, 60, 70, 80, okay, we're gonna to return to Allah. Mm. So that Iman that we value is going to be a deciding factor where our abode is going to be in the hereafter. Mm. So on earth, we've got to look at those environments that help that, that growth. Yeah. You know, it might be, okay, I'm going to Gambia. It might be, I'm around Musa, Smiley. It might be, okay, you know what? I'm going to Umrah. It might be my friends. Because let's say if you're around good brothers, when they pray, they're going to say, look, brother, let's pray. Mm. And you're going to pray. Okay, somebody wants to do something which is not good, because we go out, we, we, you know, we have dinners with brothers, we do a lot of dinners. Mm. Nobody's linking women, nobody's smoking weed, nobody's drinking alcohol, nobody is. If it's time to pray, we are praying. So that, I think it's important 
for all of us to kind of like have in that particular around. time though Ach, what do you mean? What, what are you trying to say? I'm just saying, innit? In Easy. that particular time. I'm trying to help the brother yeah. out. Say, just in that particular time. Yeah, because I was thinking, right? don't fall me when you lot are in. I was thinking, I said, what, is that what everyone's doing? I'm trying to help the brother yeah, out. Yeah, you got to leave me out of that one. you got to fall me when something else is going. You know, I'm, I'm going mad, innit? Okay. No, but you know what I'm saying? At that particular like, no time, that's what we're halal. No, like, it's it's halal. halal. Yeah. no one knows what anyone, anyway, that goes into other things. No one knows what anyone does behind their scenes, actually. Yeah. You understand? But Whatever's public is public, but whatever's behind Behind the scenes is behind the scenes. Mm. And we try to minimize as much as we can that which is public. And the reason for that is because the things we do public actually affects other people. Yeah. If I'm out here casually shooting people every day and saying, this is what I do. Mm. One, I'm going to be in prison real quick. And two, other people are going to think that's a norm. That's what I'm saying. It's important to take accountability as well. Mm. That's why I, I put my hands up in it. Took accountability in it. Because it's easy. It's, it's, it's Easy to say, yeah, Allah knows best because Allah does, does know, know best. best yes. But it's written as well, isn't it? Mm. Like, there's a book there telling you the guy. So it's like, I'm not going to say like, oh, yeah, I should. He gets on to me all the time. Mm. Oh, you shouldn't be drinking. You shouldn't be. Do you know what I'm saying? From Remember when we started the um, the podcast, you shouldn't, Aki, you shouldn't. And it's, he should be telling me that. He's not saying that and I'll get it. You know, you shouldn't be smoking in front of people. And that's a good friend, Achi. That's a good friend. Of, 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 obviously, yeah. I know that. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I'm just... Just on, me. On your journey. On your I'm journey. just me. Mm. In my own in my own time, inshallah, I'll get there. Inshallah. But, inshallah. you know... Yeah, I think, like you said, accountability is key. Mm. Knowing that it's wrong. Yeah, but I'm not saying it's right. I'm going through my phases. <laughs> and as long <laughs> as people know that... And that's it, even dangerous as mm. well. Mm. To be fair, because knowing is wrong, you're still doing it. It's mad. But oh, really, Achi? Because look, no. the, the, there's a lot of people that Iman look, has a step. It's a first step. You understand? It's consciousness. But at least, yeah, at least I know it's wrong for. Because some people just justify it. Yeah. Say, no, no, it's okay. I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm not trying to be wrong and strong. No, no, I'm, just, I'm just trying to be wrong and wrong. No, I'm, just, I'm going mad. No, you know, wrong and wrong is mad though. <laughs> you're better off being wrong and strong than wrong and wrong. All the lingos. Yeah, no, but you're better off being wrong and strong than wrong and wrong. You know, like just being wrong is mad. Just being right. wrong and wrong. Yeah, like it just, sounds worse than being yeah, wrong, wrong and strong. strong. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but it is bad to be fair. But yeah. anyway, and then obviously, so we've gone through a lot of phases. The music, you, you're still doing it. Um, I do music, yeah, but I'm more do the Podcasting. podcast. Yeah, yeah. so that's your couple. Yeah, thing. I've got a couple of tunes there, but it's like I do the tunes and then nothing. Ugh, can't be bothered. Is that more to make money or is that it's just for you it's now just, just not a passion kind of thing? Do you know what it is? I just think this, you, this fucking, this rapper, you just got stabbed up, shut up. Can't put you out yet till you've got your get back. Mm. No, I'm joking, I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. That's the wrong thing mm -hmm. to say. But I haven't got the same passion. As you did. Before I got poked up. Mm. Mm. Before I got poked up, I was ready to all say it all. Go in the booth or say it all. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like if I say something, they're like, no, you need to go and sort that out before you say that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? The stuff I used to say before, it's like, you're going to say that now? We all saw you, we all saw you in your claret. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Go and sort that out. What do you mean? Dude, with that, you brought that up. Well, brought it up. Do you get what I'm saying? Don't care. What the circumstances around that, is that known or is that something that's private? Do you getting stabbed and... Etc. Um, what do you mean? Like the circumstances around that of you getting stabbed. I think yeah, it was on camera. It, people see me okay. in the video. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's private like that. There was okay. a video. I'm in my blood. I'm mental. I'm. They're thinking I'm going. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm when you're saying about I'm 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 like, I'm yeah, I'm let's like not get let's Alhamdulillah. not get above our stations. Mm. 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 Well, so when you're saying about people will say this and that, you're saying that whoever, whoever done that, whoever because it hasn't been solved and you haven't retaliated, you can't talk about that kind of it's stuff. It's more right? me. You feel you can't. Yeah, because I've said I've even I, I just think just me personally, I just think shut up. Mm. Unless you're gonna do something, what are you talking about? So then, what have I got to do? Am I gonna be spitting about girls and? Other stuff. Because mm -hmm. every time, if I hear a certain beat, because like you say, we know music is haram or whatever, so there's certain beats that will make man want to say madness. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, what are you talking about? You're not doing that stuff. What are you talking about? But that's I've music seen you, today, though. 
Do you know what I mean? What are you talking about? Go what do you say that? that's music today though? Music is like that anyway today. I don't know. Most people talk a lot of rubbish. Yeah, these kids are getting... 99%. Get, no, nah, but these kids are getting people down still. I don't know why, because they're getting people down. Mm. I don't know about it, because they're actually getting people down. You can open a paper, you see it, and they're, like, the youths, they're dying. Like. Mm. It's very scary. Mm. Scary situation. Mm. So, and it's just nothing to do with my generation. So I don't know what's going on for them. You know, it might seem like it's nothing to me, but in their world, it's something. Mm. And sometimes look, uh, spray in terms of Allah's will, mm. there's a wisdom behind it. Yeah. Uh, it's like RA, RA, mm, Rafa mm, Jamal, mm. RA done a 10 year sentence and he took his shahada in prison. Mm. He became a Muslim in prison mm. for something he didn't do. And you know what? It's Allah putting him in that place to say, look, here, you're going to become a Muslim and your life is going to change and your sins are going to be wiped away. So sometimes you and others go through difficulties. Mm but it makes you reflect and others reflect and there's a wisdom behind it. Mm. So through that, you've become a better, mature, wiser, knowledgeable, and you're thinking about things, whether it be music, what should I do? How should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? Mm. You know, it's not totally, you know, negative. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I got, remember you got people like um, Bashir, big up Bashir, you know, that gave up music altogether um, for Islam. You know, colours as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I got some good brothers, man. Because Bashir will follow me up and give me some words of encouragement every now and again. Brother Musa, every now and again, I get, then I got Ibs and Oz. I got good brothers in it that understand me in it. So it's like, I don't have to, not even Yusuf. Yusuf, I love that brother. Why for that? But Mashallah. do you get what I'm saying? I had to wire that still. <laughs> No, no, I don't understand that. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he told me in the podcast, I love you, brother, for the sake of Allah. And I, because I didn't even know how to say, I love you too, brother, because it was too mad. It's my show. It would have been too viral and why if I said, I love you too. But on this podcast, I'm going to let Yusuf know, I love you too for the, for the sake, sake of Allah. Of Allah. No. You get, I couldn't, he said, I love you, brother. I said, mm. <laughs> you saw it anyway? I said, mm. like, I didn't know what to do. But I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. He said, I love you, brother. For the... And he was, I said, mm. but really, I love you too for the sake of Allah. But it was too peak. I had to wait to come on the bridge to let you just know that. <laughs> yeah, it was too, I couldn't do it straight away. You know, the comments would have went so crazy on me. And I had to, I, I was under manners. The whole, no. he's the only one that's had me under such manners. No. He's too... Big and does jujitsu and all that. No. So I'm knowing certain times, like I'm having to hold in madness <laughs> and just let him say what he's saying. No. But yeah, that was one of, yeah, I love you, brother. Oh, I just, yeah. Thanks. But no, but I'd, I'd love that brother though, mm. for the sake of Allah. And he's a good brother, very inspirational. And sure when I talk to him, he keeps, he, he stops me from moving to, Erratic as well, isn't it? Because mm. you know, with too much, if you move erratic, you can end up just. I don't want to do twenty-two years, or go through what he's going. And I'm we're similar mm. in the in the sense of how I, I like I shouldn't even Mindset. say that because he's rehabilitated. But I'm saying I'm similar to how he was that, as in I'm very anti-establishment. So I can imagine, like he got a seven rec and done twenty-two. I can imagine getting a seven rec and doing twenty-five. Because you're not going to want to let me home, go home now, are you? Mm -hmm. Because I'm now, do you get what I'm saying? You've got me in this, where I've got to act like this, and then I'm going to keep hitting you lot, and then, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a downward spiral, isn't it? Yeah, the RTM, how did that start? Obviously, mashallah, it's going places. So um, how did it start? How long has it been running? The podcast, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the podcast we've been doing for f just over three years now, mm -hmm. started in 2020, November 2020. Really, I kind of tripped over that, to be fair, because after the incident, what happened with me, obviously they, um, all the powers that be mm -hmm. gathered together to kind of edge me out of that kind of music thing. They wouldn't post none of my videos. They wouldn't. So it was a bit, it was a weird um, time for me as well. Bear in mind, even though I don't like to say it, but I was actually the victim. So it was a bit mad being a victim and a bad guy at the same time. So it was a lot to get and actually realise, right, these, they actually don't like me. Mm. It was a lot because remember beforehand, how much people was up man's wife for that, but I would have thought they liked man. 
Mm. But I didn't realise they didn't like me. They were scared of me. And there's a difference. Mm. So it's like, so when that happened, and then it's, so now people can let their true feelings out. So it's like, rah, they, they're chiefs, but rah, they don't like me. Mm. But I thought these chiefs liked me. Do you get what I'm saying? So it was a lot. So getting through that, I saw, because I, I, um, I saw they lock, locking me down, I thought, let me start a um, kind of record label. So I was getting artists. Um, so I started art and records. I was getting artists, and at the start I had um, one from Nottingham, Joel Mitchell. He was sick still. I had a few artists, and then I got one. My first lady was um, Queen Ice Cream from Northwest. So that was the first female artist of RTM. And we used to go studio, like everyone goes studio. And obviously I'm a joker, innit? So it's like I used to make everyone laugh in the studio and all this stuff. And I remember one time, <coughs> Cream must have been like, oh, you should do a podcast. If anyone, if they actually saw how you are, if people saw how you are, like... They'll buy into your character. She was just like, people need to see that how you are type of thing. I was like, didn't listen for a bit. And then it's kind of running out of ideas type of thing. And the music weren't really... So I remember I just booked it with no real... You mean book the studio yeah, just book the cost. yeah, because I had um the peop the person I was working with at the, at that time, Deluxe, big up Deluxe, he had the whole setup. So it's just a case of just paying, like, and everything done. So it's like I booked it, thought, yeah, give it a go. And yeah, we was I remember we was gonna get a few other people and a couple people flopped and this one, like a couple people. It's so funny, because I remember one person, I'll bait him up soon, but I remember yeah, you know, I can't help it. But I remember he was like, I phoned him, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, you know, um, do this podcast thing because I thought he had a personality. Why for that again? But so then, I know. So then, now you get it. You're laughing though. He didn't get it before, but he gets it now. He get, gets it now. But yeah, he know that one was crazy, but I got away with it. So he had a personality. <laughs> yeah. I know, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I like the brain away it goes. I'm an idiot. Oh, I know. God. But, so I thought, oh, I said to him, oh, do you want to come and do this podcast? That's another mad one. Do you want to um, feature on this podcast? And he was like, yeah, at first he was on it, you know. Then I phoned him the day after and I don't know if his brethren's and spoke to him or someone said, you going mad. You're just going to sit down with Spray and do that. Like, man, he's going to pre, I don't know. Because yeah. he's a bit short, isn't he? So I don't know <laughs> if he couldn't. I know I'm going mad. But he ended up not, not forwarding. A couple other people are asked to actually be the proper... Like with us every week, Stanner man, big up Stanner. Um, and then Stanner was like, oh no, I'll be a guest if you want. So then I was getting that sort of thing from certain people, I'll be a guest. And then yeah, the first episode was Farron, big up Farron. And then yeah, we just... Was it always you two or just you? Always me and um, Cream from the start, yeah. Mm. But that, that's what I'm trying to say, we didn't set it out like that. It just turned out, after that first episode and a couple of people didn't turn up, and what not, we just kept it like that. All right, next, we're just gonna keep it with one guest and me and her, mm. you know? And it just, yeah, it just worked, alhamdulillah. But was, was there like a vision for it? No, that's what I'm saying. It was literally, didn't care about money, didn't care about views, didn't, it was literally just another way to vent, I think, because music um, was, was like my therapy, you know, without me, maybe knowing it, but remember my thing's really the most, isn't it? RTM. And I think that's why I, I, um, I had a good following because people can relate to my stuff because I'll say it all. I talk about the good times, I talk about the bad times. So I talk about pain, I talk about joy. So it's like growing up with me, you could tell that, innit? Like that's how my music was. So it's like with the podcasting thing, I think it was another avenue for me to vent. But this time I haven't got a rhyme. I haven't got to sit down and I can just say what I'm saying. So it's easier. Mm -hmm. And then, so yeah, we had the first episode and people liked it. Big Up Made You Think as well. Because I'm always going to have to Big Up Made You Think. And the early blogs that, um, you know, pushed the audio saviors, Black Kings. There's certain people that got behind us and pushed us, you know. So yeah, and then it just went from there. Mm -hmm. And obviously three years on now, what is the, do you have like long-term visions for it or is it just letting it flow and see where it goes kind of thing? I'll be honest with you, I've just been 
busy trying to sort out the next episode. And that's how I... Um, Just the one step out. Yeah, time. that's how I... Because um, even like down to... I know we're going to get into the Tommy Robinson and all that. Um, but even down to that, how it came about, it's just me just going through and then things, whack 100, certain things it just comes into my, so mad way. But I just need to concentrate on the next episode. Mm. That's how I look at it. Yeah. Consistency is key, mm. you know? Like 100%. persistence beats resistance. Mm -hmm. From certain man, I need to keep a distance. Nah, keep it going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that, free DV. I know. <laughs> Just gonna say free DV because yeah. we're gonna get mad comments for that. But mm -hmm. free DV, good mm -hmm. brother. With, with, brother. With, with, with that one, how did that come about? Because you're there doing make, make, make most of your, would you say visitors or people that come to the show, they've been what musicians, people that you know. With Tommy Robinson, mm. it looked mad out of whack. Like, what's whack? he doing out there? Mad out of whack? Yeah, like just random. Oh, basically, how this... It's not like your normal... Yeah, I know, I know. That was mad. That's why we had to call it an exclusive. <laughs> I know people nowadays are doing K Trap as an exclusive, yeah. <laughs> but that would have just been a normal episode if it was my show. Yeah, 100%. But Tommy Robinson, exclusive. That was a quick mind game. Mm. George, you like that one. But anyway, so boom. No. Right. How did it so come out? my friend, I got I actually got a DM from prison. I, I was just about to say, he's free now actually. So I can say jam, big up jam jam. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> I'm gonna give jam jam his flowers because he's free. But anyway, a man messaged me and said, Oh, would you have Tommy on your show? Tommy Robinson. Wallahi <laughs> Akia. At this time, because people don't believe him, but whatever. But I didn't really know that he was anti Islam or nothing. I just thought maybe slightly racist, but I thought he was on the immigration, that sort of... So I thought, yeah, why? Because remember, I'm a businessman as well. I know. Why not? Because I've, I've, I went and I checked a couple of things. I thought, oh, right, he's actually quite popular, All right? Anyway, cut along so short. So I said, yeah, cool. Then they gave me the number, I think, to some next guy and cut along so short. I ended up just getting a number for my man. Boom. Lined it up. Me too. Yeah, lined it up. And he forwarded. Which, you know, like, give him credit for that. Came he through. did it. Because mm. even, like, when we was talking and he was saying, oh, his friends was like, don't go. He's got a lot of Muslim um, friends or names or whatever. So, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I could have maybe, I think in hindsight, I could have given him a harder time. Mm. And I think that's why when I went on his podcast later on, I was kind of had my back up. You can see I was waiting for any foolishness. Cause you see when he said he's an enemy of Islam, you saw, uh, you know what I mean? I got a bit, do you know what I mean? I had to let him know, mate, I'm on what you're on, mate. Yeah. Don't go too mad. You get what I'm saying? But do you know what I mean? But it's a weird one because- What did like you I said from him once you spoke to him? Cause like I said, my bro, like my brethren, Ibi and that, Osman, and mm. they, do not like this guy. Do you know what I mean? They have, even when I phoned him, I don't know if you watched the episode, I tried to phone him, he wouldn't talk to him. Mm. So obviously I get like that sort of thing. Like, bro, how do you even sit with this guy? How do you even, how are you even able to? But with me, I look at it in a different sort of way because I know a lot of Tommies, unfortunately. Grew up with a lot of Tommies. So it's like, with, maybe without his extreme views, but I'm saying just... Yeah, the persona... No, that bear in mind, yeah, he, he, he does not say he's against Muslims, even though he is. <laughs> he does, he, he's a bit confused, mm. is what I get from Tommy. I, I get that he's confused and he's mixed up Asians with mm. Islam mm. type of thing. He's from Luton, where the Asian youths got it on lock. They've always had it on lock. Who knows? Do you know what I mean? I've heard little rumors or whatever. Mm. These ones dig that, he's gallon, woo, woo, woo. I don't know. That's good. So mm. he's, he's holding feelings from that possibly. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. Mm. But my whole thing is not judging. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'll take you as you come to me, wife. But 
Mm. That's mad. I had to. Stop. That's mad. Stop. That was crazy. Stop. That was crazy. No, one that. thing I think Respect was on it. Mm. So Respect, correct? Yeah, Respect done well as well. He challenged, he challenged. He well, done well. and well, Respect was in the... F- yeah, but okay. I see he, he got a lot of bad commentary, the comments, yeah. Respect did. Yeah, but they don't realise because I needed him. Because mm. if he weren't there, look how I was behaving. I clowned out the whole thing. You get me? It was all a joke to me. Do you get what I'm saying? I didn't even... I needed more people. I needed proper people. Yusuf would have done well, probably. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Ali, Ali Dawa. Mm. Um, Mohamed Ichab. Mm. You need like some, someone proper to debate. Mm. Tommy knows his stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, what he thinks. He, he knows. He knows he, what he's he got his he points. Yeah. What he's ready to push. And this is what I'm going to stay on. Mm. Like, for instance... I spoke to brother Musa after and Yusuf after, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have had rebuttals. Mm. But certain things, I literally, I was just there. Because I've got no rebuttal. And we, we, what we know in Islam, we can't say things if we're not certain of it. So I'm not going to say talk on something that I'm not certain of. Mm. That's one thing I won't do. So then obviously, Raspik, he knew a couple of things or whatever. But even stuff like when he, he was like about the, the Prophet, a star for and you know, the age and all these things, yeah? A simple thing, like a simple rebuttal would have been, do you know how old um, Mary, Mary, Mary was? But I didn't know these things. Mm. At the moment of when he was saying No, but I did, you get what I'm saying? I didn't know these things to even make it, like, do you get what I'm trying to say? So that was the only thing. Which what? I think, look, one is, okay, respect the challenge. Mm. Uh, and there are sometimes, you know, pe- those who know, mm. those are ignorant. Mm. those who know and they're just challenging Islam for the sake of challenging mm. and he would be able to know because not like not smart to differentiate between culture and religion okay mm. Asians do certain things it doesn't mean it's Islam mm. yeah they're doing this certain things it's cultural practice some Asian practices are coming from Hinduism mm. yeah yeah. you know so they're taking it from India and so on but you know they're next door from Pakistan they've taken it they're practicing it mm. but him and others would know look Quran Sunnah mm. is different the Prophet has some teachings. Mm. And also, like you said, you can go to the Bible and find a- ages of the wife of Isaac mm. you know, or Mary that, you know, uh, they, they say 12 yeah. years old and Joseph was something like 70. There's kings of England marrying, you know, wives like seven or eight. Mm. There's a context behind it, yes, a time yes, yes. place behind it and so on. Mm. You know, what some Asian gangs might have done. Actually, look, as Muslims, we know our religion. Do we? It angers us, man. Of course. You tr- trouble any girl, you know, and abuse any girl, Muslim or non-Muslim, mm. as Muslims. Actually, when you hear that on the news, you start getting angry, because that's our religion mm. against oppression and so on. So somebody like him would know, you know, and on your part, you know, so the other side or the other brothers are seeing it. You know what? Spray platformed him. He's given an opportunity, to kind of like attack Islam. Uh, That's what they're kind of like saying. Yeah. No, he's a brother. He shouldn't have done that. Mm-mm-mm. He should have known better. That's what you know. Yeah, what, yeah, what yeah. Was it? yeah. But I respect. I respect that. But that's their opinion as well. Mm. But my, from my aspect, it's got the most views out on my channel. From and it put me in a whole different. So it done well for me as mm. my pod. It's a podcast. Mm-hmm. Don't watch my podcast if you're gonna get so emotional or whatever. Don't watch my podcast. You have got the bridge. You're not going to see Tommy Robinson on the bridge. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? No, but do you get what I'm trying to say? you got things to... to yeah, you can't... Like, as with me... You can't complain about something, but you're there watching. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, you don't... You see his name, Tommy Robinson. Don't watch it. Because mm. you don't like that man. Wait till the next episode. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But to watch it and then... You have to understand as well. With me, I, I do believe, like... Um, there's a saying that not to, not even to say like keep your enemies close. Not to say it's about enemy, but like if we say he's an enemy of Islam or whatever, like I have conversations with this guy where I have to I'm saying stuff to him and he's taking it on and he might say something back, but I'll be like no. But he knows where I stand. He knows I'm a Muslim, mm. like, and I know where he stands type of thing. But on the other hand, he's not saying oh well, Spray's a Muslim. I'm not going to deal with him. Mm. He's confused, isn't it? Spray's a good Muslim. <laughs> he doesn't understand. Do you get what I'm saying? I like Spray. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's up to me. It's not really up to me, but I'm saying as far as I'm concerned, yeah. I, I'm there to teach mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. So if if by the end of it, you're thinking Spray is cool, you know, so, but Spray's Muslim. Mm-hmm. I've never, like, you know I'm Muslim. So 
to me, it just it's, it's something good as well, isn't it? I'm saying you like, yeah, I'm cool, mate. Mm. Like, not every Muslim is how you think. Or we come in all shapes and sizes and diff. Like, we're not all... We, we haven't all got um, bombs in our trainers. Enough. Or... No, but you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not what you... Do you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. you know, like, but he is, yeah, he's against Islam, mm. you know? Mm. But, like, we all know, innit? A lot of guys who he guides, he misguides who he misguides, so, you know? Mm. He, he, he could be taking a zone in 10 years. We don't know. Mm. Allah knows best. Mm. And then if he's taking a zone in 10 years, then what? Should I have not had him on up? Should I have not? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I don't know. I don't, none of us knows what the future holds. Mm. Yeah, I think part of the thing you pointed out is also what it teaches us in Islam is that you should also learn your deen. When you learn your deen, Yes, that as well. You're able to articulate yourself. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So as, as I was I, embarrassed. I, I don't think you... I, I, I'm no, I was embarrassed. Personally. I was embarrassed. Okay. I'm, not, I'm just coming from... I was embarrassed. I'm only just reflecting what you said when yeah, you yeah. said you didn't know to no, rebuttal him. Yeah, you but got it. Comes, yeah, you it comes, got it. The first, the first surah that was revealed to the Prophet, peace be upon him, was read. That was the first... Mm. Allah didn't say pray. He didn't say put your clothes on. He didn't say go and fight. He didn't say hug your mom. He didn't say any of that. The first verse that was ever revealed in Islam was Iqra, which means to read. Mm. Read mm. leads on to knowledge. Knowledge leads on to action. Yeah. You understand? Actions so, lead on to habits. Habits, exactly. Mm. And so all of that is a circular kind of form. It gives you, it makes you the person you are. So part of that, as it's just a reminder and for the people watching, when you're in those positions, in hindsight, it's to look and say, you know what? Yes, I didn't know. But now I'm going to learn. I'm going to be better next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Simple no, as that. No, no. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, you the, like you Bible said. The Bible speaks about war. You mm. had the Crusades, the Crusaders, Christian Crusaders, by the mm. Pope giving them a decree, go and fight the Muslims, mm. take over the Holy Land. Mm. You know, the, the Jesus Christ came with a sword according to the Bible. Mm. Mm. So, you know, and if they're saying, look, Christianity, okay, then look at Christianity and what it says and don't just try and say Islam. Even Christianity is probably a context. Mm. So something in Islam, it's, there's a context behind certain things. Do you know what nearly, what nearly took me away from Islam mm. one time? That's sorry, but this just came to my mind. Um, I remember someone saying to me, oh, do you know, if you're not Muslim, you won't go to heaven, yeah? My mom and my dad are dead, yeah? None of them died Muslim. Mm -hmm. So it's like, so it was a difficult thing for me to take in. Like, so basically you're telling me my mom's not going to go to heaven because she's not Muslim, yeah? So it, it, it bothered me, innit? Because I was thinking, okay, well, I'll go to hell to meet my mom. I'm a for law, but... I was still, was my mum in it, yeah. like my mum in it. I don't, where am I going from here? If you're telling me my mum's not going to go to heaven, that's not heaven to me. Mm -hmm. So it was a, it was a big deal, wasn't it? So, but it's only after when I spoke to my brother, Ibi and that, that's why I love um, my brothers. Cause, cause they understand me as well. But he was just like, no bro, no one, like, it doesn't matter. Allah knows best. You could, whatever, your prayers could bring your mum. So that was the only thing what kind of sick. Cause I've, I'm, I'm, um, yeah, that 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 was so. That as well. What I will say to any new people um, taking on Islam: don't always listen to people as well. Mm. Can't just listen to everyone. As a principle, actually, look, we can't say we're going to paradise like that. Mm. There's no guarantee. Mm. You know. So what, what does the, Allah say to the Jews? Like, like when, we're the chosen people. Yeah, don't say that. You know? so, so meaning, like you, you know, what the principle is: Allah is the most just. Mm. And Allah will, with His justice and mercy and, and, and you know, complete and perfect knowledge, decide mm. where somebody will go. Yeah, yeah. And you live in Allah's hands. But then you have some people that they, 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 they don't, they're very, um, how can I put it? Straight down the, like, no, your mom, she's not going to go, she wouldn't go heaven because rare, rare, rare. Like, mm. I've had conversations with man mm. and they think this is sensible to say to me. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? They're trying to, like, obviously they're trying to think they're be, just being, telling me how it is. But you're not realizing when you're telling me that and you're thinking you're doing something sensible, mm. I'm thinking, all right, say if you do that, because mm. I know we shouldn't um, be attached to worldly things and all that, but it's my mom, ain't it? Mm. Mm. Not like that. No one else never raised me. Mm -hmm. So do you get up to the Z? Yeah, so, of course, yeah. So yeah, it's and you have to deal. Thing. You have to deal with people with wisdom, bro. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? Those you people that do those kind of things, that shows you that's a clear and Obvious ignorant, bro. Human. It nearly turned me away from it. Of course, that stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? Luckily, I, I my Ibby saved it that day. Is that, bro? Do 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 do. Because I couldn't understand it just mm. in my normal brain. Because mm. I, this is someone I've grown up with, so I know. Hold on, 
you never been nicked. You don't do crimes. She's not she's a good, good person, woman, man, good person. Like my nan, good people. Mm. So I'd, it was hard for me and very religious, even though we're praying to the wrong person mm. or whatever. Like we know that. Mm. But how is she supposed to know that? Yeah. Mm. But also there's another point in there. Mm. How do we know yeah, that at the time of death, she didn't take a shahada? You, you, you understand? I'm just like, okay, mm. of course, you'll be saying no. Yeah, she no. did it still. <laughs> but, but you know what? No, between her, no, between her and Allah, saying. between mm. her and Allah, we don't know that last stage, Akhi. Only Allah knows. That last stage, I know yeah. she didn't. You mm. get what I'm saying? She was so religious. I'm just, no. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Obviously, I don't know, but I'm saying, what are you going to do just before? Mm. You've just, no one's told you nothing and you've just turned. Mm. It's mad. But I'm mm. saying like, she's very religious. Remember, they don't know. They're not praying. They're praying. You're praying to Allah. Yeah, yeah. No, why I said that? Because there's a brother here, comes mm. come here, Caribbean background, Jamaican, mm. Jamaican background, father religious, Christian. Mm. And just before death, maybe half an hour, mm. took shahada. All of his family, just the sons next to him, the Muslim son. Mm. So he said, look, yeah, he took shahada with me. Mm. But nobody else is there to witness it. Mm. So nobody else is accepting it from his family. Mm. Only him. But he said, look, you know, to me, look, he done it. And, you know, Allah knows, Akhi. Allah knows. He's leaving Allah's hands. And, might that, lying, though. <laughs> It's only him that was there. You get me? You don't know. You know, like when you're saying it's only him that was there, you don't know if you... You know the ones it was only him, though. So he could just be going mad. Well, it depends on the If someone said to me, it's just... If someone said, oh, yeah, I was with your mum, and she... I said, nah, bro, you're going mad. Mm. My mum my goes to church, right? Like, I wouldn't even... You mm. get what I'm saying? But I know what you're... What it depends you're on the to. calibre of the person saying it. Though. As far as I'm concerned, it's up to Allah. Subhanahu mm. wa ta'ala. Not no one knows. You can't tell me my mum ain't going in heaven because of... It. Do you know what I mean? Well, you could. Well, that's look, what that's what was going on. There, but I'm saying that's a big deal. Mm. So I'm just saying saying that. So if anyone else hears this, mm. to not be so be on that to people, mm. new people, because that will turn them away, bro. Hundred percent. It's not gonna make you. It's not gonna pull you to Islam. Mm -hmm. If you're someone that you love your people, isn't it? No, you got to deal with people with wisdom. And then another thing was the kafar, 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 like. It took me a while to get to to be taught that kafar is not necessarily like a Christian. It's an atheist. Yeah, someone who you know certain f that don't believe enough. But at, no, at, but explain it more, Imam. Isn't please, it more like yeah. isn't isn't isn't, isn't, isn't like kafir someone who knows the truth, knows something is the truth, and or is it is it just yeah, whoever like diff complicated? No, I'm just saying issues, yeah? because uh, lot, but, like, yeah, but, like he explained. Yo, Imam. Don't be thinking. Yeah, put the mic closer to him. He, we want to know what the kafar. Yeah, with the yeah, hey, mom. Because you had me on mind games downstairs. Now it's you're my... sweating. We want to know what kafar is. Mashallah. Yeah, why, we why, want why, to know. Now oh. <laughs> nah, that's a wise. I said I'll be the first one to get your mom to. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Look, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's it's not complicated, mm. and it's not derogatory. Mm. From an Islamic tradition, you're just saying that person's not a Muslim. Oh, so that's all it means? That's all it is. And saying okay. that person's a non-Muslim, the singular is kafir. So Christian is kafir. The, the plural is kafir. That's it, Ahi. Mm. Yeah, there is a deeper meaning with covering and so on. But yeah, in terms of, look, you've covered your heart from the belief in Islam. You've decided to be a Christian or a Jew or an atheist. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. It's not a derogatory to say that person's a kafir and those Oh, are they're still kafir? Yeah, you're just saying they're not I Muslims. Thought, so uh, that's what I've that's what I've initially yeah. was taught. Mm. But then I can't remember who I was talking to, but they did say to me, no, the correct kafir is someone that believes in nothing. Mm -hmm. it, that probably falls under the umbrella, is what you're saying. Yeah, it falls under the umbrella. If that's you it. disbelieve in God like an atheist, mm. you clearly disbelieve. Then you're they're all okay. kafirs, man. Mm. They're all kafirs. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all kafirs, man. <laughs> now, you know the ones they're all kafirs, but like, you heard it, man. We can't go against. We can't go against if I'm with you now, man. They're all kafirs. I'm with you. Kafirs. I'm with you. You get what I'm saying? We've asked. We can't now hear his reply and think we've got our own. No. Yeah, we're with yeah, our own translations. Kafirs. Yeah, they're all kafirs. <laughs> they're all kafirs. You get me? That's what Imam didn't want. <laughs> no, but it's, no, but it's, they're all kafirs. Like I said, there's a context to it. There's a context to it, and mm. and and for those who have knowledge, because there's people that follow a particular way of life, mm. and they don't have other information come to them as well. Like you can talk about the people of the Amazon. Can you call the people of the Amazon kafir? If no, I'm just saying, could you? You you you'll call them disbelievers because look, if they're not believing in Allah, kafir. Yeah. prophet peace be upon like kafir. kafir. But if knowledge hasn't come to them, okay. So this is where the that's what I'm trying to tell you about the Amazon. No, no. This is where what uh, spray saying is. is 
There's a different ruling in this world. There's a different ruling in the hereafter. Mm. In the hereafter, you live in Allah's hands. Of course. Allah knows what Allah will do and decide. But on earth, mm. let's say uh, somebody from the Amazon dies. Are you going to do the janazah for them? No, you're going to say, these are kuffar. We don't do the janazah for disbelievers. Mm. <laughs> if somebody says, look, I'm in the Amazon, but I believe something, you say, look, okay, you're a disbeliever. You know, so earthly rules and regulations, they're disbelievers. Mm. Just means you're Kafir, not Muslim. Kafirs. Yeah, Kafirs. Stop saying, yeah, Kafirs. Like, <laughs> Kafir sounds heavier than disbelievers. They're Kafirs. You know, <laughs> being a Kafir is mad. Trust me, being a Kafir is mad. We got to make them not being a Kafir's man, so we got to joke it up. <laughs> no, but you get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This show's closed down after this, no, no, Everyone's no, no, a Kafir. No, no. Y'all no, Kafir's man. Kafir. Y'all Kafir's. You Kafir's. You don't know to joke them out. You get what I'm saying? They're not... To come no, on. but it goes on to the point you were saying. You see like, the Kafir's. You can't they're they're like shaking. That, no. They're doing, no, we got the spirit and Kafir's. No, no, no. No, you can't forget like, that. The spirit's like, jumped into us. Hey, hey. A star for a lot of Kafir's. <laughs> I'm okay, man, but this is where <laughs> we're at. Nah, no, this is no, this is where we're at. No, right obviously, jo 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 jokes to the side. It has to be with wisdom, and someone, mm. anyone can't just say kafir, though. Mm. Can I just call someone else and say kafir, man? Okay, look, if somebody comes to tell they you I'm believe. a Christian, mm. what are you gonna say? Yeah, kafir. Fadlal, akhi. You just say you're not a Muslim. Is that, the point here is, I think we're taking it too deep in the sense that it means something complicated. Yeah, no, I understand. No, akhi, you're a Christian. I'm a Muslim. You're a Jew. I'm a Muslim. Kafir. That's it. In Arabic, no, I understand it, it now. You get me? No, but I thought... No, How but... they see it, though, they've made it in such a negative way. In they a way. made it that way. Mm. That's it. But it just like to say a kafir to them is like... <gasps> like, like, a, like, a, like a cross on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a witch or something. It's like you're melting. Mm. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's, that's how it's perceived. The, the, the danger side is when a Muslim says, I'm a Muslim, and then you're calling a Muslim a kafir. Mm. Okay, that... Because he's mm. acknowledged or she's like, I'm a Muslim. I, yeah, it's I, not I, up to you. Now you can't go and start saying you're not a Muslim. Mm. That's when it's dangerous. So the Prophet said, whoever calls a Muslim a kafir, if that Muslim is not a kafir, it comes back to you. That's a hadith in Bukhari. That's where the danger now lies. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, you know the ruling? Yeah, I understand it now. Fully. Now I understand it. Kafirs. So I understand it. You know them one day, I'm not a kafir. We'll, we'll, move, we'll move on to the next topic. <laughs> Finally, because we can keep talking for, 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 for time. For ages. You know, I've no, got the three hour pod no, podcast. No, four hours. Locked. No. I've got the three hour podcast. I'm ready to say more. <laughs> no. You get what I'm saying? But we finalized. Usually, Alhamdulillah, obviously, you've gone through a lot. Jazakumullah khair for that. But we usually ask most of our people that come to us, what's the maybe key thing that you, I don't know, maybe a principle you practice, a philosophy you have that other people might benefit from um do you know there's one recent not recent but definitely one thing that will get you far in life is when you stop caring about what people think about you that's a major key because mm. the second i stop caring about what people think the, you take full control because it's like what because you don't care what people think. Why do you care what people think? Human beings. Mm. Could that it's, not it's, be, it's dangerous as well. That's what I was going to say. But, go with that. yeah, but I know. If I don't care what people think, I can also move left with that. That's down to you. Mm. But I'm saying me, it's helped me. Mm. I've been asked a question. <laughs> that's my answer. <laughs> Your answer will be different. <laughs> no. But my answer no. is... Don't list. Don't care about what people think about you. Because if I had, to, if I've cared about that, care about what Allah thinks about you. Mm. How about that? Why are you that, caring about what? That, 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 that's for where me was, that sits. That's more. where I was getting to. No. Like, why am I gonna care about what a human being? You're a human. Mm. But you do. But you do care about something else. Their view. Of yeah. 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 I know. High I've, entities view. Yeah. 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 Because I know I've got. There's a. There's a very serious conversation that I'm going to have to get into. Mm. At at some point mm. with my creator. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So that's down to me innit mm. But I don't need to care what This person thinks Of um, A decision I made Because you're not judging me mm. Mm. Like you're judging me on earth But you don't make that final judgement And Do you know what I mean As long as like you say It is dangerous But I'm saying if you know You're doing with your Everything's in the right intention mm -hmm. Because intentions mean everything, can it? So yeah, it's like, it needs context. That's what I was trying to say. Do you get what I'm trying when, to say? You yeah, say yeah, it point yeah, black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone will watch that and feel like, I don't yeah, care yeah. what my mom says. I don't care what my dad says. Mm. I don't care. Mm. 
it becomes it, peak. But if you live with, if you live with certain principles, certain guidelines, and then you're not watching what certain people say, because mm. you watch what your brother says to you, um, brother Mosa, because you care for him. Not really. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but you care for him on certain yeah, yeah, topics, that's... so you listen to him. Yes. If your mum was here and she tells you certain mm. things, you listen to her. So it depends on who's saying it. Did, but... Do you know what I'm trying to say? It depends on who's saying it, what they're saying it for, the intention behind it, like we spoke about originally. Mm. I think that 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 reminder, 100%, mm. that Just you shouldn't watch it. Finish off. Firstly, Zakallah Khan, may Allah reward you for taking the time, brother, young spread, Gaddafi, my young brother, I'm a generation older than you. Mm. But two requests. Mm. Yeah, one this is... more mind games, isn't it? Yeah. He's got something else covered. Yeah, you said you were given the adhan in Woodhill. Woodhill, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so request to give the adhan, inshallah. This becomes part of your legacy. As Musa mentioned, people watch it, generations to come, they'll hear your adhan. And secondly, any chapter of the Quran that you can recite in Arabic, whatever you feel comfortable with. He's trying to test me, isn't it? Trying to say you what, yeah, you're trying to mind games because I've watched your thing. This ain't what you say to them. So you're you're taking my thing for some joke. Like you get what I'm saying? I can see what's going on. Like, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you're taking my thing for some joke because you never asked Quincy that. You never asked some some brothers. I did. Yeah, you didn't ask them that. Yeah, I think our dads, dads, our dads, Ra, our dads, Ra, they done correct. Thinking, that's that's like what hits done with um Yusuf. No. Could ask hits for some questions, some fire round questions. It was like some test. <laughs> like A, B, C, or D. Like, he was like some test. You see, I was like, yo. So, sorry, what was your request? Yeah. Adhan. Adhan. And Allah anything from the Quran. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah. Ashadu Allah ilaha Muhammad Rasulullah. Hayya la salah. Wait. I was going to repeat that again, you know, so you don't repeat again. I know that. I haven't done that for ages, so that's just off my head anyway. Yeah. Any, any surah of the Quran? Well, obviously, I'm going to say Al Fatiha, innit? Bismillah. 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 Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Hiya Rabbi. Lalameen. Armani. Rahim. Maliki. Omidini. Akana. Budua. Akana. Stain. Dina Surat Al Mustaqim. Surat Al Adina. Nam. Talayhim. Jar Magdubi. Alayhim. Waladar. So now what? <laughs> so now what? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So now what? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So now what? No, because I get it. No, because a lot of people wouldn't expect that or wouldn't think, innit, because of how I am or whatever. But this, yeah. I think that's the point he's, he's showing as well, mashallah. That, that is that. You have got that. It's in you, actually. You have yeah, yeah. You. Even all of us. But yeah, I nearly got that design wrong, though, because I was going to say it that twice. Now, there's two ways. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm thinking. Because I, yeah. I, I was taught it a different way because I was going to say it that twice and then go tired. Yeah, yeah, there's the longer one like yeah, that and then there's yeah, a short one yeah, where you can do the section one. That's why. It, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah. No. Come on, man. It's there, actually. Barakalafi. Come on. Alhamdulillah. I know I'm an idiot. But it would have been nuts if I didn't know nothing. <laughs> you would have really got me on that still. It would have been a bad one. That's think about it. That's about no, but think about it. It would have been... I'm out. No. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> think about it if I didn't know nothing. I trust in you, bro. I no, trust but in you, Akhi. Think about it. If I was just no. there saying madness, like, yeah, because remember, <laughs> before, you, before you've before you arrived, I was saying I was I, I was doing a, um, a sign in Woodhill and that. Yeah, yeah. So imagine I was just capping. Yeah, quick. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just just a quick. The... Yeah, he's, he's banked that in his, he's banked that. <laughs> doing a sign. I'm surprised he didn't let me do it downstairs. <laughs> That would have been mad if you told me downstairs, yo, we got a new brother, he's taking us on. Oh, man. But nah, man, Jazakallah. <laughs> I said that as well. So I'm going to be the first one to make a mom laugh. No, no, so, no, mashallah. I've seen him laugh before, but not at this point. I even got, he wired me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wired me. He wired you still. He wired you still. <laughs> he wired me. No, he wired it's me. been a pleasure, bro. Now, thank you, man. Jazakallah. Jazakallah for coming through. Yeah, now, come on, man. It's been, like I said, like, I have to, innit? No, you got, the, you got the call. I have to. It's like what I said downstairs, Islam, innit? The brothers, if the brothers say, Ruh, it's Ruh, innit? Whoa, what do you want to do? No. I'm honoured. No, I don't lie. I thought, I thought I weren't Muslim enough no. <laughs> to, to make the bridge. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I nearly wore my, I nearly wore my proper thing. I'm going mad. I nearly wore my thing from Gambia, though. No. You know. The my, big thing. He knows because I wore it <laughs> in the picture, the famous picture. That's my. But, no. Alhamdulillah. 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 Alhamdul
we'll finish with that and wassalamu alaikum to everyone that's watching peace